Oh, hey everybody, welcome to the Northern Line Live Super Show, the Thursday, May 9th, 2019 edition. I, as always, am your host, Northern Line, joined by my esteemed co host for today, Michael Ale Fox. Ooh, what's up? <laughs> Hello. I thought you were gonna like you were starting with the introduction to uh, Janie's Got a Gun. Good song. Yeah. Mm-hmm, da, mm-hmm, da, mm-hmm. I thought not you another teen that. movie actually has screwed me over with that song because they used it, but then they use it for the character Janie. Yeah. So I always thought the actual song was Janie's Got a Gun, and then people look at me like I'm a dummy, but I'm like, no, no joke. Maybe once a month. I get the musical number from the end of Not Another Teen Movie stuck in my head. And uh, it's horrible. As as an adult who takes himself too seriously, to have this stuck in your head. I'm getting pussy no matter what. <laughs> even if it's with dirty slut. And then I think the one girl goes, true love is what I want the most. And then the waiter comes in from the side and goes, I just jerked off in your French toast. Uh, and like oh, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. right after that, the sister goes, so what if we have the same mother tonight? I'm going to fuck my brother. Like, it's just a, it's a disaster to get stuck in your head at this point in I, my life. I love how, I mean, your brain is just like on another level, though, because like I don't I remember all that stuff, but I, I couldn't recite it. I, I think I know the whole song, you know, the ones like. I have no money, I have to make my own dress. And then there's just the Swedish exchange student who's always naked, and she oh, says, Oh, yeah. Look at yeah. me, my breasts are perky, yes. Like. And then they do the, they have like the dubbing with the, or the, the subtitles, but they like, you know. They're not always accurate. They don't cover the, the yeah. nudity. <laughs> anyway, give me a second to start. <laughs> we're going to play Super Mega Baseball, and then uh, after that, we're going to play uh, Slapshot, and then after that, we're going to play. Quiplash. I will invite my good friend Michael A.L. Fox to join the game. Yeah, boy. Go. So yeah, I agree. I'm cursed with knowledge in many ways. It I, is, I've yeah. only seen the movie like three times, too. That's the... Uh, I'm probably in that realm. I mean, that's not like... a lot for a movie that came out when I was like 13. It's almost like, I mean, you've seen part of Breakfast Club then. Uh, well, that's correct, because they have the the principal, right? It's the same yeah, principal. Yeah, and they do the, the same scene, sort of, but embellished when he's like, you know, and another one, and another one for the detention, yeah. and then, <laughs> but he's like, hey, your mother was a hoe, and then the, the kid's like, so, and they just keep going back. See, you're this. cursed with knowledge as well. So I, I, I remember know. none of this. Well, situational, I guess, but I'm terrible with uh, lyrics, names, mm. for the most part. So I don't know. Well, you know, okay. all you gotta do is uh, rip some oh. dingers. Uh oh. What's up? Somehow it reset me to 69. Oh, difficulty. you can hit Y and change it back. In the game, though. In the in the game, yeah. Oh, okay. Or like like right now, you should be able to do it. Uh, no, it says waiting for party members. Uh, okay, well, dude, you might be uh, you might be stuck at sixty nine then. It's fine. Even fifty five was. Too- <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a good idea. Put pitching on ninety nine and hitting on one. Oh, oh, dude, I got that music back. Let's go. How was your uh, your Thursday stream, Mal? This is really good. Like. Rimworld is fun as heck now because I don't have to save scum for the most part, and uh, just like so many humans to eat, which mm. is good. Yeah, do you have, are you still running the isolationist colony? Yeah, for Where the it's like, just you. It's mostly me. Like I've had a bunch of colonists join, but usually if they're not good enough, I just have them, them strip naked and then. <laughs> And then I uh, eat them. Nice, yeah. Wait, yeah. Do you have them stripped naked? Or do you yes. have them stripped naked? Usually I have them take it all off. So, like, do you not get a mood debuff if they take their own clothes off or something? Um. Well, if I want to wear their clothes after, yeah. Like, there's a mood debuff if it's dead man's clothing. <laughs> so, always, like, if somebody gets downed, first thing, strip them naked and then... And then kill them. Dude, this is a good uh, inning. It's very good <laughs> inning. 
Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty monkey esque but it's kind of fun. Mm. Um, yeah. You know what? Uh, what isn't monkey esque in today's world? Cookie clicker? Mmm. I don't know. I, I've never played it, so I. I Not my pitch. Never swing at the first pitch. Mm, that was, you know, it's kind of my pitch, but. Oh, that's just embarrassing. Hogan's going yard, dude. Not my pitch. Bullshit, <laughs> Beavis Ortiz. Okay, well, well you know what? It's okay. <laughs> a pitcher has no, or a batter has no pitch. It mm. is known. <laughs> okay. Look, I'm I used to, it. my brain is fully calibrated to MLB the show. I gotta, it takes a little bit to get to the point where I can actually hit in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, there, uh, wait for your pitch. Change ego. 55 solidarity. Let's go. I'm still not going to hit this, but it's fine. Psych. <laughs> oh, dude, it's all right. Look at Mojo oh, on yeah. fire. Fitness uh, fit. Batting 800 for the season. <laughs> it's well groomed. He's ready to go. Oh, yeah, baby. He's done Ooh. it. I'm just not hold going him. second. Just, yeah, just hold him. No problem. Let's get on base. And this guy, not not too shabby either. Yo, I look like oh. uh, <laughs> oh, I can't say it because of spoilers. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait. All right, Good. come on, do me justice. How does Cookie Clicker get extremely monkey s, Chad? Well, you're buying like human beings for their labor, right? Oh. Okay, I've never played it, so I don't know. I just. I figured it's cookies and you're clicking. How could that go wrong? But I don't know. It's like uh, everybody's like, oh, uh, profits are the unpaid wages of the working class. But then 10 seconds later, they're like, I got to buy 95 grandmas so that I can purchase a new factory. Like, make up your mind, internet. Yeah, but grandmas are good at cookies, so why wouldn't you? You ever, uh, are you much of a baker? Nah, it's like, I mean, bread's pretty much the only thing that I really do, but... Because I don't have much of a sweet tooth, I mm. have no real desire to bake. It sucks, too, because my mom is big into baking. Mm. And I go there, and she's like, there's a freaking buffet of just desserts. And I'm like, Mom, I got to watch the calories. This yeah. is delicious, but it, it's hard to say no. So, you know. I, dude, I feel you. That's I, I don't bake at all for like that exact reason. Yeah. Easy that one. said, I do want to... I've never made a pie. Mm. And I would like to master pies. Because crust is a big... It's a big deal. In... Uh, well, when I was younger, I never ate pies. Because I was just like, I don't want to... Like, the crust on a sandwich was my least favorite part. So I was like, why right. do I want to eat something that's made up of, like, 70% crust? Now, I've been having meat pies... Now Ooh, and then, yes. like if I yeah. ever see a meat pie on a menu, yeah, I'm like, let's do it. But I, I'm realizing they're so like underrated in North America, except for French Canada, I guess. Yeah, that's where it, it hails from. What's the name? The, to the tortier. Tortier, yeah. My, uh, I have uh, my one aunt is is like French Canadian, so mm. whenever we'd go there for holidays, we'd always have a dope ass meat pie. Uh oh, uh oh, he's gonna drop it. Oh. That hurts. Yeah. Plus, I think it's like, it's one of those things too, like even, well, okay, well, whatever. Crappy pizza is still pretty good. Yeah. But good pizza where you're like, I want to eat all of this crust, right? That's kind of like a pie if it's nice and flaky and buttery. Dude, I agree a thousand percent. Like, yeah. once I realized the meat pie was just like, you know, beef, potatoes, <laughs> and gravy wrapped in like a cracker yep i realized it's the perfect food mm -hmm. oh that was my oh. pitch it Dude, was the b wolves they're they're too good defensively but you know what so are we <clears throat> uh i guess so what do you do when you've got a stalemate in like chess uh usually you get 15 consecutive draws and then uh you play for the world championship in a series of blitz matches yeah, but like, what move would you do? Would you do, like, you know, 
E7 or something with the pawn? E7, dude, that rarely is E7 used as a pawn because that's where your pawn starts if you're playing the black pieces. So, <laughs> it's, I'm just glad. It's a really interesting move. It's like an abstain move. <laughs> they don't ever see it coming. Oh, oh an embarrassing display. Oh, man. And I want a beef stew, dude. Oh, ho, ho. dude, Kate made a. Some chili last night, delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, she doesn't like spice, right? So do you, do you like uh, do you apply spice afterwards? Or you I just straight up? I don't. I uh, I I just I eat all foods as is for the most part. I all I sorry I really let us down. Never mind. He's done it. Like I I don't put salt on my food. I don't put pepper on my food. If it's not there during the seasoning process while cooked, I usually just live without. Sometimes uh, maybe a little hot sauce, but not very commonly. Yeah, the only thing I actually pepper for whatever reason, the only thing, only thing is uh when, if I have like breakfast um old school like home fries. Mm. I like a little dash of pepper on that. But and the only thing I salt when I activate my beard. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that. <coughs> Well, I don't know, like, if it's if you have the same logic I do. I accept that if I salted my food, it would taste better. However, it already tastes good, and secondarily, I think I would have like even higher blood pressure than I already have. You know what I mean? Um. Oh. Oh, let's go, 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 go! Send it. He's making it, dude. Wow. Big air. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I mostly just, like, trust that... Oh, fudge. Uh, I trust that uh, whoever made it, you know. Like, they're putting salt yeah, in it already. Yeah, I like to think they know what they're doing. Yeah. All right, one sec. I need to focus. Yeah. Bringing please, Kobe home. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Get on base, baby. <gasps> That's gonna do it. Yup. Just a little yup. Somebody in chat said they have a friend who activates their lemonade with pepper. That's like, it's a little too much for me. That's a bold move. I, uh, why? Well, I, they probably think it tastes better. Or, or maybe they're one of those people that doesn't necessarily think it tastes better, but they're like, you know, I don't have much of a, like, I'm not known as the, the whatever guy yet. So at least I can be known as the guy who puts pepper in his lemonade. Ah. I just don't know. Because there, you know, I was tweeted uh, a photo last night of the, what's that book, Salt Acid, you know. Oh, yeah, the TV show. Or the Netflix the, show. Yeah, so there's like a book for it. And it talks about activating and how, you know. The salt brings out it kills the bitterness in stuff mm. and it brings out the flavor that is otherwise kind of hidden by the bitterness so you know maybe we should have austin activate some beer and he won't hate it i think austin needs to convalesce first <laughs> how is he doing he's been streaming um yeah i don't know i haven't he, he was wasn't he in Rivals today? Yeah, he's streaming Rivals. Is anybody did they tune in? Is he is he doing okay? Not just like performance wise, but like psyche. Yeah. Physically, he's playing automatic chess. Yeah. Dude, we need to call Twitch and be like, stop doing Rivals of just auto chess and PUBG. Right. Well, they did Stardew, but. It seems few and far between when they do games that we might, you know. They should play. do Super Mega Baseball. I think we could place. Dude, no doubt. I mean, especially if it's just against other streamers. Like, there's, it's not like yeah. there's a huge... Well, I mean, we were, we were one and two in the Tournament of Shame. This is true. Well, of course, Corey's like, I love how they invite the same people to every Rivals. They just like, you know, if you got on that gravy train, would you say no? Yeah, of course. I, right. you know, milk that cow. <laughs> I'd and be it's there. It's not like, 
I'd be there with I, bells on. I think we can apply. Like, I got the emails too, but it's kind of like, you know, I'm not good enough at PUBG. Yeah. To, you know, I'd just be taking somebody's spot. Not that the, I would get in, but, you know, there's people that are more deserving. <laughs> this, is, this is good. That's true. I, ooh! Has he done it? Ah, uh, uh, nah. Good contact. Sorry, you advanced the runner. Classic William Bean situation. Oh, oh Billy. This one's for you, awesome. Austin. Yeah, please, buddy. Not, not, not my pitch. It might be hard to believe, chat, but Austin's stats? Oh my god. Come on, come on. Yo! Got it. <laughs> Give us some yups. Let's go. Dab. No dab. I wanted I wanted the morale. Oh he chonky. Yeah, thank you. Remember we changed his name. He's dumb dog now. He earned it, that's right. My least favorite part though is we can no longer say last gray worm. Mm. There's nobody uh there's no dumb dogs in Game of Thrones. I mean there's dumb um, characters, but like you know. What about Ghosts. Ram <laughs> Ramsey's dogs. Mmm. They're not dumb though, they're just hungry. No 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 no. Josh is going yard too. Oh yeah, hound. The hound. He's, he's not a he's not dumb, he's just uh he's ornery. <laughs> he drinks oh. and he he knows things. Scared of fire. What about Cersei, though? Oh, hello, he Daniel. He put the respect on her name. <laughs> He's gone. Hi, Dan. Oh, yeah. It's He's just gone. that easy. <sighs> I was playing uh, mountain biking with Daniel and Mathis earlier today. I was wondering what you guys were up because they added multiplayer, right? They did, and I mean the multiplayer works. It's kind of like, it's pretty casual. You just sort of like, you know, drive bikes around together, but it's not a bad time. Yeah. Did, uh, did Dan beat Mathis? Uh, I don't know. By the end of our experience, they did have like over a hundred bales each. Okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, it's just that easy. I mean, I had like 88, so I'm not saying like, you know, I was doing an amazing job or anything, but you guys should just play uh, play Prison Architect together now that it's. Uh, I mean, Mathis likes prison games. That actually, can you play like Warden versus uh, Prisoner? That I don't know. What what I saw? Oh my god! What I saw of the video when I did watch was just like two people can literally just like place the stuff. And whatnot, so. Yeah, I'm I know not... you can have like two wardens for sure. Yeah, I'm not sure you can do it the other way around. Ooh. Dude, what are you gonna. I saw that you finished uh, XCOM 2. Are you doing another campaign on uh, YouTube? Yeah, so basically, I was thinking of. Because um, the person, uh, Violet, who did all the, the NLSS voice packs, yeah. was like, hey, I'll, I'll help you do one for you. So I kind of want to do one for me before I start. Genius. But yeah. that's the plan, because oh, well, I also modded the game out a lot. I've never played it with mods, and I guess there's some that really make the gameplay better and more extended. Dude, so. I have to admit, I looked into it. There used to be a mod where two people could play the same campaign and they just traded who had control on every single turn. And I was like, if if that still exists, I would, you know, I'm not forcing myself in, but I'd love to be a part of uh, it. Dude, but I would, yeah. Well, they, was that XCOM 1 or 2? That was XCOM 2. They got cease and desisted. Oh. 2K sent them a, you know, please stop doing this or we're going to send your asses to jail. Why? Does anybody know if, is there like, that's not cool. I I mean I could understand if they were like, well, we're gonna do 
co-op. Exactly, but... yeah. I don't know, maybe they will at some point. I mean, how long is... It's been out for like three years, I think. So, probably not yeah. now, but... I don't know. Maybe it's... Oh, oh that's a perfect shot. Blech. I mean, that would actually legit be hilarious. Because when... Uh, uh, my one brother, Jamie, like, he loves XCOM. So whenever we're hanging out, we just... We take turns playing. There, you, in, you built it yourself. Life. Yeah. It's so fun. I got it. I got it. I what? He caught he it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared. He like the AI gave up on the on the run, and I was just like, I guess I'll try to jump. <laughs> the dude jumped like thirteen feet straight up. Wait, that wasn't was that Austin? That was Austin. Yeah, so he's already <laughs> tall enough. That's true. He doesn't even need to jump. Just stretch. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. Now, if you're going yard, guaranteed. No, no, no. It's not bad, but it's not his pitch. Oh, that was definitely not your... Okay, next time. That's <laughs> I don't know. I mean, even if we can't multiplayer, I still think you should just play. Yeah, um, but, you know, now that you're full-time, I want to, you know, suck up some of your time as well. Oh, that's, that's so fair. I, I, I appreciate that, you know. Plus, like, to be honest, I played... XCOM 1 on the channel like three times and XCOM 2 two and a half times or something so to have something to spice it up would be uh, it would appeal to me for sure. Oh, I, f I feel that. I feel that. Oh, that's oh, that's a pop fly. Man, we gotta get Dan some mojo. Yeah, he's uh, ever since Big Brother 14, he's uh... <laughs> confidence is at an all-time low just shattered don't worry bertha banks is having a bad day <laughs> rattled oh never mind oh no well the pitcher just hit a home run <laughs> <laughs> you know what she was, she was just worried about her mortgage and... <laughs> well dude you play minor league baseball you make like 75 bucks a week i'd be worried about my mortgage too all right, I'm gonna. Sorry, Cobalt. I'm gonna sub you out. Let's Apparently get the, the, the mod is still there. XCOM 2 Tactical Co-op. Oh, Michael Al Fox acknowledging substitution. Oh, sorry, my bad. No, no worries. Uh, well, if it works, dude, I would be happy to give it a try. But uh, my impression from the mod on the Steam Community Workshop was that. Maybe it had been yoinked, but I don't know. Last updated September 3rd, 2017. But it's there. I don't know. Yeah, we have now moved on to Ark Survival Evolved, and you can check us out by the block. That is final. Huh. Oh. Send them. Oh! Let's go. No! <laughs> That's my bad. Now batting, number 11, the What's the Bureau? XCOM Classified. That is uh, a third person shooter that is not very good, but it's set in the XCOM universe. Oh, okay. No thanks. I'll just wait till John Wick. Dude. Oh, did you <laughs> dude, Hogan barehanded that one. <laughs> and yet it's a foul ball. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, I can't move. It's, it's right there. Yeah, it's part of the XCOM Extended Universe. Hmm. Everybody's got to have their own Extended Universe. Do you do? You're telling me. I mean, like, two John Wick movies are coming out in the same weekend. John Wick 3 and The Dog's Journey. What? No, that's... I didn't think about how to set up the joke, but I was on Run Tomatoes and I saw that John Wick 3 and The Dog's Journey are coming out in the same week, and I was like, well, this sounds like they're the same movie. What if he resurrects? Dude, what if he gets all five Infinity Stones? Six Infinity Stones? I never remember. Uh. Wait. All the it's Infinity six, Stones. It's yeah. six. One for each knuckle, the thumb, and then, like, the back of the hand. I always get that wrong. 
Six. It's the first perfect number. Come on. <laughs> Dude, can I admit to something embarrassing? Yes, always. Um, I googled is forty three a prime number. Is it the other day? It is. But I thought like I could figure this out for myself, or I could just Google is this a prime number. That's what Google's for, though. I think you so. Feel, you know, it's just like, uh, you gotta measure twice, cut once. You wanna mm -hmm. confirm. Alright, you're embarrassed now, but it's a good thing you didn't go to, like, some interview at Google. <laughs> yeah. and, like, it's 43 a prime number. The classic like, interview question, is 43 a prime number? <laughs> Here's a good one. Give me your largest prime number without Googling, Mouth. Uh... One. You fool. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, 43. Okay. Infinity. How does that work? Infinity plus seven. Wait, uh, Graham's number. Oh, what the f Right? Mm, what's Graham's number? I don't know. It's like there's seven? Some G there's some G number. No, it's really huge. Yeah, there is a G number. A, a gallon. <laughs> 3.78 liters. Gina. Oh, is it Graham's number? Chat, what is it? It's, is it Graham's number? It's like... It's Avogadro's number? No. it's 6.02 times 10 to the 23? Maybe it's Gorgon's number. I don't think it's Gorgon's number. Goro's number? That's four. He has four arms. Who has six? Mm, uh oh. Spiders? That's my bad. That dude, don't even worry about it. Just extra innings. Yeah, it's all tied up, dude. I don't like that. Guarantee my next at bat. Double. Home run. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> realistic. Chad, spiders have six arms. They have six arms and two legs. <laughs> <laughs> if I you like saw that. a spider stand upright, you would understand. Can somebody draw like a spider with, you know, six feet and then the two front <laughs> arms with, you know, actual just human hands? We're free. Let's go. Whoa, what the heck happened here? They're, they're bringing in Keisha Mushara? She's, she's destroyed. She's mentally broken. It was Graham's number. Let's go. What is it though? Can you put it in chat? Can't be that long. Dude, she came in pre-rattled. Why would they do this? She's so angry. <laughs> her accuracy is off. Her velocity is not too bad. Dude, her speed is so bad. I can't hit it because it's too slow. Yeah, right? It throws it throws your tempo. Off. Every speed is off or every pitch is off speed. Alright, here we go. You Hulkamaniacs. Apparently Guaranteed Graham's off. number has oh, they they swapped them. That's bad. Graham's number has more zeros than there are atoms in the whole universe. That's the one. Yeah, I I knew it was a big number. I mean, that seems like an understatement. Isn't like the <laughs> amount of atoms in the universe is like two to the 300 or something stupid like that, which maybe doesn't seem like a crazy high number, but that's like a lot. Two to the trillion, it seems like a high number. No, two to the 300. Oh, yeah. That's that's not what you, I thought you said. <laughs> true, true. I, that's uh, that's big. Yeah, I mean, how can there be so many atoms in the world when there's only uh, seven billion people? <laughs> and I'm a Ryan. You're a Michael. I only know like two atoms. One of them, Sea Anners. <laughs> and Adam Savage. Or as I call him, Sean Anners. I thought it was Sea Nanners. It is, but we have a lot oh, of inside man. jokes he doesn't know about because oh. we've never met. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to start doing that with Brad Pitt. Dude, what are you going to call him? Brad Pitt? Well, I'm, I because I had the idea he should move to Pittsburgh and open up Pittsburghers. Ooh, like a, a competition to Wahlburgers. Kind of. And, you know, it, like, it's Pittsburgh, so they should have burgers. Oh, I should have double played that. That's my bad. Dude, you know what? He should also move to Pittsburgh and open a lingerie store. And he could call it the Bra Depot. The Bra Depot? Get it? 
Send it home. Send it home. I'm, I'm sending it. Thank you! Let's go! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Thank, I mean, I was sending it, but, you know, you said it. It was good. I just wanted to make sure. Oh, you got to make this sure. In the bottom or the top of the ninth. I guess we did still yeah. have a chance, but. It's like Googling if 43 is a prime number. <laughs> Cause he get, cause it would be like bra de pit. It's kind of like depot, the bra de pit. Oh, bra! Uh, okay. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Once I get it, I get it. <laughs> That's what I'm going for. Who do you well, think would like be the clientele? Oh, well, Angelina. Well, maybe not. Now that I think about it. I heard he's got maybe a thing with Jennifer Aniston again. Yeah, like 25 years ago. Yeah, but I thought they'd like rekindled it. Ooh, Let's go. Nice. Get on base. Yes. You know what? I don't know. You go to the grocery store, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, there's a, one tabloid superstar who I never understand, and it's uh, Gwen Stefani. She's on. Oh, see ya. Bye bye, D sucker. Dinner's on me tonight, boys. Let's. Okay. Oh, yup. 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 Hold on. Yup. Why, uh, why is Gwen Stefani always on the covers of the magazines? She still looks so young. Yeah, but like, so do a lot of people, probably. Uh, what's that? What's that song? Don't sleep. <laughs> don't sleep? Doesn't yeah, she, don't, don't, don't sleep. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I want you awakened. Oh, that could be good for a Freddy Krueger movie. Dude, that would right? be great for a Friday the 13th reboot. Or Nightmare no, on Elm Street. Jason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, she could be in both of them. She's very popular yeah. right now. Don't sleep. Yeah. He knows what you're dreaming. Yeah. And he's got his knives scheming. Don't fall uh. asleep, it hurts. Wait, does he have two Edward hand, scissor hands or just the one? <laughs> he has one, one Edward glove, I thought. Yeah, okay. Like, well, I don't think... He, needs, he doesn't... He needs he's not a super one to wipe. He needs to wipe with. Yeah, it's true. Right? You can't... You that's, couldn't wipe with a handful of knives. That wouldn't... That's... Yeah. Cut but your, I didn't cut your, about, uh, your thingy up. Yeah, oh, real bad. Both real of bad. his hands are Edwards's? Really? I don't, well, I also don't think Freddy Krueger shits because I've never seen him eat. And I'll His tell you one is... thing, he's undead, so if he shits, he's probably not wiping. Who cares? Is he undead? Yeah, he's like, he he was like a, he was a creepy dude, so the townspeople like burned him down, but his ghost was so evil that he's like eternally still alive or something. Oh. Hmm. It's a thing. I never, I never really paid attention to the lore. Oh, I've never even seen the movie, honestly. Really? Any of them. Even the, the Rob Zombie ones. Um, The Hills Have Eyes. Mm -hmm. Do they? I don't know. I never finished that movie. Yup. Let's go. Yup. That's Halloween. Dude, I can't... I always get Jason... And Mike Myers and Freddy Krueger confused. And I actually saw the new Halloween in theaters. And even though I've seen it, I'm still like, dude, that was Jason. It's not Jason. It's Mike Myers. Michael, yeah. Which is, I mean, freaking actual Mike Myers. Change your name, dude. Yeah, I know. Change it to Jason. Yeah. Because he did the movie I'm I'm Married to an Axe Murderer. Yeah. More like Michael, I married a weird dude with uh, Tom Cruise's mask from Vanilla Sky. Good man. Oh, good movie, too. Do you think Mike Myers is his dippity do to get that hair <laughs> behind the mask? Behind the mask? That's a different movie. That's Jim Carrey's autobiography. Is it? I can't remember the title. He's he's not okay now. Yeah, well, he's, uh, you know, being in the Sonic movie would do that. To... Kind of the thing, but I feel like he's not okay, and that is what made him decide to go in that movie. Mmm. It's possible. Oh, that's why are you doing it, buddy? Okay, I gotta focus. Yeah. Oh, that's, you always take the first strike. Some, and then you, you gotta make him think you'll swing at anything. Yeah. It's a very complicated psychology. <laughs> oh, okay. 
No, but now that you've done that, next time he's going to underestimate you when you get up to the plate. Right. So now you'll be able to hit a real, uh, <laughs> a real dinger. <laughs> oh, clover buff. Dude, they should remake Halloween again, but with Mike Myers as Michael Myers. As Austin how, Powers. How would you know? Yeah, okay, yeah, he has to talk. <laughs> Although, I don't think he'd have to talk because, like, the real serial killer Mike Myers is, he's tall. That's right? his thing. He's tall and he's very strong. <laughs> or have Mike Myers playing Wayne. Right. From Wayne's World as Mike Myers. Wayne from Wayne's World as Mike, okay. So it's like he looks like Wayne, but he also puts on the mask and goes around killing people. Right, yeah. And singing and Bohemian he, Rhapsody. Yeah, and people see him coming, and they're like, no way. And he's like, shaw away, shaw wing. <laughs> and then he takes his knife and he stabs him. <laughs> oh, and then man, remake Austin it. Powers, but with Mike Myers from Halloween as Austin. Okay, I like this. Yeah. Just a full-on crossover episode. <laughs> shaw wing. Oh. <laughs> Not my pitch. That's good. Oh, that hurts. It's okay. He's living in my head, dude. What non-Marvel movie are you excited to see? Um, I don't know if we'll see it in theaters. Like, I've gotten into the habit of seeing every movie that I see in theaters, I see, like, day one. And if I don't see it day one, I don't see it. So, I don't know if I'm going to see it in theaters, but the real answer is John Wick 3. Okay. The sec... Why am I hitting again? I just hit. Oh, did you? Yeah. As I was rambling, so that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, almost. Ooh. Um, maybe I'll see Detective Pikachu, but presently undecided. It's possible. I'll see it, but I don't think it's a th uh, I don't know. I did just get a Cineplex gift card, though. So. Oh. Yeah, my mom likes to do that at Easter. I mean, and who doesn't I... like getting a movie uh, gift certificate? Right, like, you know. You give me a movie gift certificate, it's gonna get used. Yeah, because then it kind of, like, it almost forces me to see the movies I might not otherwise go and see. And then I'm like, you know what? I have a good time. I have my popcorn. It's usually a decent movie. You get to you play know? Time Play. I never have played it. it. Well, dude, if you win Time Play, you get 25 scene points, which is the equivalent of a 25-cent voucher that you can only spend at the movie theater. That's like, uh, well, popcorn is, uh, the butter is 50 cents. So just yeah, dude, all you got to do is win trivia twice, and then you can get butter on your popcorn for free. Dude, but you can't I'm redeem gonna... it in 50 cent intervals. You have to get to 1,000 points first. I'm just going to start sneaking my own butter <laughs> into the movie. <laughs> a little Ziploc bag of melted, melted butter. butter. Yeah, uh, and a little hair dryer or like a hot pad or something. <laughs> oh, that's good. Let's go. Dude, I honestly, like, do not care if you sneak anything into the movie theater. Except it's a new level of, like, ignorance when you sneak in loud food. Like, like a pork tenderloin wrapped in aluminum foil or something like that. Oh, dude, that's a easy that's fly easy. ball. Have you seen that, pork tenderloin? No, but, like, sometimes people... Like, we were talking about it, I think, a couple of Sundays ago. Like, you know, it would be hypocritical of me, uh, given my coll uh, collegiate experience, to be mad at people, uh, like, bringing alcohol into the movie theater. But don't bring yeah. in, like, 12 cans of Bud Light. Bring in, like, a like a bottle of hard alcohol or something. Mm hmm From, uh, Jim Beam. When I saw Doctor Strange, there was, like, you know, two dudes in front of us. They were cracking open a cold one, like, every 15 minutes for the whole runtime. Well, you know, you got it. What the the thing is, you say, "Hey, like, I'll allow it," but you gotta pass one toss, back. Yeah, pass yeah. one back. <laughs> and I feel like they, you know, most people will probably be like, you know what? He's right. Yeah, I'll be like, "Hey, I'm a cop. Put that yeah. away." And then I'd be like, mm, "Actually, just give us two, please." Yeah. 
Is it illegal to impersonate a police officer? I think it's very illegal. Well, you know what? It's illegal to drink in the movie theater uh, well, with your own alcohol as well, so. Why don't we Google it? <laughs> Dude, there you go. <laughs> Chat says highly illegal. All hmm. right, so. Well, I know it's like it's really bad if you like wear a police officer's uniform and you're not a police officer, but like, yeah, you know, it's Halloween somewhere. Yeah, what if? Yeah, exactly. Or in movies, they do it all the time. Oh, yeah, exactly. They're also, they, they snort uh, drugs all the time in the movies. Right? What, like it's not illegal then? They, uh, Doesn't make they any kill? sense. I've seen so many people kill other people. Dude, in Daniel Day-Lewis in uh, There Will Be Blood. Yeah. Beats that, dude, beats that dude off with a bowling pin. Or Gangs of New York, right? Oh, dude, or uh, Phantom Thread. Um, yeah, that's the, the, the Lincoln one, right? <laughs> yeah, or, yeah, Lincoln, Abe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the movie's called. Well, wasn't there, like, somebody that was, like, Abe Lincoln Vampire Hunter or something? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. That was Daniel Day-Lewis. Excuse me. Justin, why are you donating bits in my chat? Yeah, there's got, there's got to be something associated with this. First off, thank you, but secondarily, what are you doing? Are Third you okay? Off, you were in my chat earlier, and I didn't uh, see any bits, Justin. What's mm. that? Oh, okay. It's it's slang for uh, all cops are bros. What bits? Well, 1312, apparently. I don't know, Justin. Oh. I don't listen to Chapo. I will say I was on think? Twitter yesterday, and somebody uh, had an avatar of George Costanza, but with the Chapo haircut, and I was like, it's real good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think Justin has one of those, like, police radio monitor things? <laughs> Justin notoriously calls in fake things stuff to the police just to like get them off the track of real crimes you, hey uh there's a, a donut truck flipped over on i-17 <laughs> uh, calling all cars calling all cars uh. that's not illegal it's just frowned upon by the law and and probably judges as well but Oh, I got it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Sorry. Not bad. <sighs> yeah, I agree. You gotta keep them on their toes. Is the thing. You gotta, you gotta do confusing crimes, just to keep the the law guessing. Right, because just to make sure they know the codes. Yep, exactly. Yeah, like Justin, if you're so good, what's a two eight one? Yeah, what's a three eleven? Uh, that's the band, right? Mm. Nope, it's a uh, bad band playing a concert illegally. Mm -hmm. <sighs> right oh, to the here's... gap, dude. Oh, no, that's my bad. No, no, no. He, that's home. David Ortiz. He's not making it. He's making it. Oh, but the throw. Did you see him rear up on the throw? Yeah. <sighs> All right, you know what, buddy? I'm trying now. Um. <laughs> he's so slow. Oh, oh. Nah, no, he wouldn't make it. I, yeah. I don't think so, at least. Yeah, you know what a 187 is? You asking me or Justin? Oh, I'm asking anybody. 187. No. Pretty sure it's like shooting. Really? Yeah, what? something like that. Wow. It's murder? Yeah. Do you know what a uh, 10-4 actually is? Uh, is it a double play notation in baseball? No, it actually means the cop has... has a, He's really a tall. The <laughs> <laughs> 10-4, 10-4, good buddy. Over and out. <laughs> it's over the waistband and out of the pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, code 1337 is when there's a woman in your public uh, Halo lobby. <laughs> it's so late. Excuse me, officer. 
2112 is Oh, about, dude. This album is too freaking banging. A song is illegally long. That's we we got a code 2112 at the Opeth concert. Hey. <laughs> I don't like the way you said Opeth. How do you was it Opeth? Opeth like Gangnam more, style? Or, you know, more organic, more natural. Mm. You sound like a robot. Opeth. Hi. Here, I got to go yard, dude. We need it. Send it, please. Oh, ho, ho. oh. I don't know. It didn't do it, but it was close. It's close. Wait, X is contact, right? I haven't been doing that at all. X is power. Or power, yes. A right. is contact, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I, I've, I've never been booked by the police except for that bad weekend in my second year of university where I got two underage drinking tickets in the same weekend. <laughs> By the same cop, right? By the same cop, <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> it's so good. You can't write that. Let's go. I did, even despite being 18 years old, I uh, I did not put the system on trial. On Monday, I just went, you know what? Pretty much deserve that and paid the ticket online. Yeah. What are you going to do? Right? I mean, it's just not worth the effort. I mean, what, like, I'm really going to show up in court and be like, uh, excuse me, Your Honor, in my defense, it was homecoming. That's why in university I would just, uh, uh-oh. No, 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 yes! Oh. Um, now you know why I like the Rockstar Vodka so much, because Oh, just it just look looks like a normal energy drink. Yep. I like that. Keep keep them honest on first. <laughs> and it worked. Mm, excuse me, uh, Your Honor. Uh, I have a late birthday. Can we factor that into the consideration for this? Oh, is this Nacho Grande? Good stuff, good stuff. Chad's like, oh my god, NL's a badass. Don't act like you haven't pirated... $200,000 worth of movies and anime over the course of your life. You ever watch the FBI thing that goes up before the DVD? It's like punishable by $250,000 and up to seven years in jail. Yeah, I bet you've downloaded cars too. <laughs> what if I could, dude? Can. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. No, no, no. It's okay. They're trying to ice us. Not gonna happen. Justin Yup. Batten zero 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 for the year. Not for long. He's in contact. Oh, drop it, drop, drop, drop. Oh what is he got gloves on his knees or something? Just get on base. Oh don't touch that. Nice, nice. Dude, we just gotta work the we gotta work the pitcher down. He's he's locked in. That's not going to help, to I'm be sorry. honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay. We got so we got a couple more innings. Yeah, we'll yeah. More. Nothing to worry about. He's only not thrown today. 37 pitches in six innings. <laughs> Good. Okay, watch. I'm going to get a yup. This is for you, chat. Yup. Well, you, sorry. You can't do that yet. I'm swing. Oh. Let's go. Cool. He called his yup. Yup. Three strikes are out. Okay. Oh, dude, he's locked. Dude, I'm just, I'm, you know, let's just throw some spicy meatballs. That was just to try to catch him swinging, right? You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, once you once you get ahead in the count, you got to start working him outside. See if he's gonna swing on something desperate. Oh, oh I got it! I got it! Ooh, excuse me? I thought he grabbed it. He must have picked it up like uh, like a microsecond after it touched the ground. So I have an issue with this comment because I okay. think it's a joke. All right. I cooked and ate a guinea pig. That's I mean, not something anyone would do, right? I think it could happen. It depends on the circumstance, you know? If you're in an area where guinea pigs are eaten, that's not so bad. If you picked one out of your sister's cage and then 
you know, butchered it <laughs> that's in, in your I kitchen. Thought. That's that's really bad. It is not a joke. Like, how do you prepare a game? Because there's like not a lot of meat. Like, do you make like chicken nuggets? Like guinea nuggets? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hey there, Dern Wonderfloss. The thing in South America, guinea pigs are much larger than up there, and they run around wild. Wait about 10 pounds? 10 pounds. That's huge. No, but like, what do you... So you cook it, but do you, like, what do you... Like, what's the meal like? What's the dish like? Well, if you're on keto, you just eat like three or four of them. I guess. And look at a lettuce leaf. Hmm. Ooh. Not my pitch. This is though. No! <laughs> oh no! I was doing a power <laughs> swing, so that's why. <laughs> oh, that's great. I don't, I don't bat well against the other lefties, so. You know, I think I'd try barbecued guinea pig. Maybe. <sighs> Dude, so we we had the we went to Japanese barbecue on Tuesday after the Unity stream. That's one does. And it was delicious. Can't complain. Yeah. Except, Kate was like, "And I'll take a bowl of rice on the side." And then they came back after like a minute, and they were like, "Our rice cooker is broken, so we can make some rice, but it'll probably take like half an hour. Do you still want it?" And she was like, "Yeah, that's fine." And then they, uh, you know, all the meat came out. We cooked all the meat, ate all the meat, and then, like, as we were waiting for the bill, they came out and they're like, hey, your rice is ready. Do you still want it? And we were like, nah, that's okay. You did, like, take it to go? or Wait, did well, you Well, no, we didn't it? have to pay for it either. Oh, I just okay, thought it was funny that, like, after we ate the whole meal, they were like, you still want that rice? Like, yeah. Meh. It's okay. A little, little BM. It's, I mean, I understand. At least they did warn us. I can't complain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't. They only have one rice cook. Yeah, I don't know. Is there, considering you know, it's a place that seats like a hundred. Yeah. I feel like you know, for efficiency or just to even have a backup, you guy want to have another one. Seems like you know, one rice cooker is just asking for trouble, but. That's BM, you should have paid for it. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I guess I'm I'm not woke enough to pay for, for food that doesn't exist, I guess. Just pay for it, take it out, and give it to somebody who hasn't eaten. Yeah, there was a... I, I mean, I told you in the Discord, there was a dude outside of our building the other night. Just kind of like... Kept like shoving his hand down his pants and then like oh, fudge. screaming and like stomping his feet on the ground and then like dude went out and was like hey stop that and then he stopped it for a bit he like fell asleep and then he got up and just started doing it again uh, maybe he's got and like I was that. like dad <laughs> <laughs> you're not supposed to be here till June <laughs> Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, we're still in here. Okay, guaranteed. Do okay, Austin. It's Austin. He's locked. Break him. <clears throat> Consider him broken. Oh, baby, baby, he's missed it. Send him, Let's send go. him. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, ballsy. Austin's Huge. Got balls. Dude, a triple is like the best hit in baseball. Like a yeah. home run is really, I mean, obviously it's like literally better. But a triple is like more impressive. Um, and. Okay, so, slow down. <laughs> he just dropped the bat like. <laughs> so bad. Um, it's all up to you. Uh, what's I saying? Uh, it's yeah, only the eight. It's only the eight. The pitcher knows he's right there, right? Like anything could happen. So it's like such a mental drain. Yeah, absolutely. You know? wait, 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 wait. Home run. Don't get get Justin out of there, dude. Because he said we're going to the ninth. Let's Trying. let's sub him. 
Oh, you're seven. Okay. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, put yeah. I'll put uh, good contact hitter in. Let's yeah. go. We'll put Midtown in, and we'll do a double switch. Oh, I like Midtown. Too high. Nice, good eye. Get it. He's done it. Let's go. That's one. All right, now uh, just send him home. Oh, here we go. Contact. All contact. <laughs> Maybe we should do another double double switch for a better hitter. Um, yeah, no power. All right, Sarah Floggins. Mm, all right, I can get with it. First Good contact. First career game. Oh, oh 1,000 batting average. I'm, I'm going home, and you cannot stop me. I'm staying on first. I don't know. Well, fair enough, fair I, enough. That's a mistake. That's my bad. I forgot what the advance all is. I think it's LB. Okay. Well, I figured I'd focus on the person that's going to get us. Oh, dude. If I She's stealing second. Let's go. Oh! Nice. Oh! This guy, oh, you don't want the chunk. Oh, we broke him. Take a pitch, take a pitch. Oh, he didn't take the pitch. Oh, I actually thought you hit the gap. I did All right, too. Uh, put in, uh, you could probably put in Corey, I guess. Wait, yeah, it's, yeah, we need a release. Close, closer's or fine. Because we're going to, oh, yeah, he's good. We're going to crush him bottom in the ninth, guaranteed. He's so fast. Watch this. Loggins is out of position. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know, it's not like you need to be good to be catcher. What do you do? You just make the peace sign between your legs. I'll just never let it, the ball get to the catcher. Dude, I don't know how. That seems very dangerous. No, I'll just let them, like, pop fly it <laughs> on the first pitch. Oh, mission accomplished. Or foul ball it, at least. Down you, man, this strategy. <laughs> Just that easy. Lion right. inside. It gets him every time. Oh, yeah, she caught it though. Yeah, like, she, she's holding it down. Yeah, just keep your glove there. I'll pitch to you. How much does the catcher control what the pitcher throws in Major League Baseball? I mean, they like make suggestions, I guess, but I don't really think they do. It's more of a like you know that like we both know you don't do anything, but let's just pretend like I'll nod. Does what? Well, does the pitcher like, uh, or does the the catcher like study batters to know, you know what they're strong and what they're weak against, so that they kind of like call the pitches? Um. Not my pitch. That I don't know. Oh, I reckon they... so, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I reckon they just kind of like whisper stuff like, you're not any good. <laughs> you, your mother's a terrible cook, you know? Oh, dude, you know what would be like next level? You constantly tweet the batters under like a Twitter pseudonym. Oh, he's going to make it, dude. He made so it. So fast. You, you got to steal. Like you say, like, I'm ladies, man, 217. All right, I'll steal first here. Oh, wait. Steal second. Uh, oh, wait, you're, I, you're I, the stealer. That's right. I don't even know how to steal. Uh, just hit up on the D-pad. Okay. Oh, let's go. let's go. Okay, okay. I keep taking the high pitches. It's okay. It's all right. I'm Don't setting worry. mouth up for the hero moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, you tweet them like a bunch of bullshit throughout the season. You're, I'm ladies. Uh, you suck. You <laughs> suck. The, the Astros are better. And then... When they get up to bat in a high pressure situation, you go, Hey, I'm ladies man, two seventeen. Yeah. You're just gonna completely throw him off. They're they're walking him. Oh no. He's too good. Wow. Wow. Respect. Oh no. <laughs> you know what? He's got power. No Could contact. swap him, but I refuse. This is Bear's chance. Power, power swing. Let's! Redemption. Extreme redemption. Yup. That's huge. The comeback win, it's my favorite. Because people think we're gonna lose, but we never do. We do never lose. Yeah. Only 55 difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look at that, man. That was rough for a bit, but oh yeah. Corey with the win. Yeah, despite babe. Justin having eight innings pitched, no big deal. Um, we'll be back to play some slap shot with uh, Robert. See you soon. Mm. Bless you. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, Hi, Robert. Hello. Oh, hey, how's it going? It's going well. How are you doing? Oh, you know, pretty good. I thought you guys might be going in extra innings there for a second. Not necessarily. Like, on. Yeah. On, Robert. I mean, I, I appreciate that. What, what, what are we playing slap shots? Yeah, don't say anything funny. I'm going to go urinate. Oh, okay. Uh, chat, um, come. Ryan PP pee -pee small. <laughs> <laughs> Got him, dude. <laughs> How you doing, Melf? I am doing all right, brother. It's a little rainy out there, but I'll have you know I was a very productive cannibal today. Really? Yep. What'd you do? Rim rolled cannibal. Oh, okay. Yeah, I is... well, that's less fun. It's pretty good though. I mean, yeah, but like if you were into some like real cannibalism, then we could get down. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you want to we can have like a picnic. Yeah, basically, dude. Yo. OK, so chat. I need I need you all here to to tell me something, right? Because fastest way to find out something on the Internet is just say something wrong and make people correct you. Right. So yeah. like question. Cannibalism. If you don't eat the brain. Can you get the prions disease thing? Um, yeah, I thought it was just the brain. I see, cause like I, I, I thought it was like just the brain, maybe. Yes, you totally can. Yes, absolutely. Oh. Okay, all right, good what, to know. What if I like batter it and deep fry it? Whoa, now we're talking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like they call them chicken fingers, but chickens don't got fingers. Rob fingers, however. Oh man, <sighs> why like is it every time I leave? <laughs> I can just infer you're talking about eating a human being. I just want to say, I wasn't the one that brought it up today. That's <laughs> uh, true. That's all I, I want to say. Always spinal cord. Okay, there you go, Rob. Just don't touch the nervous system. Okay, all right. That's doable. Uh... You lit no, I was not! Was I the one playing RimWorld and being a cannibal? <laughs> yeah, you, you I'm not so sure I was. Have you ever like played a decent amount of RimWorld? You literally did. Um, yeah, no, I did. Oh, I played. Play well, more. I played some. Anyway, it's play fun. More. I, I want to play more. Honestly, yeah, dude. I mean, because the modding community is great. You can do some really cool stuff. You can do like a Game of Thrones theme. Yeah, yeah. Are there cool mods for it now? Dude, there are so many cool mods. There's like, it's actually insane. Like the vanilla game is great. I love it. But... Yeah. I mean, there's like different skins and stuff that adds more content or like changes behavior and, and things. Oh, man. Yeah, they have toilets. Oh, You're dude, ready. I love toilets. You can mod in toilets. Why don't I you love just take um, a shit into a uh, geyser instead. That would heat up, and then when it sprays, it would spray shit water all over Ryan. <laughs> I prefer my toilets to be moist, and then you got to say I'm in a French accent. Toilette. Yeah, he's got it. La toilette. Oh, the toilette. Okay, here's your password. Hell yeah, brother. Spicy. It's a good password. Okay. Perhaps. Wait, I are you guys making chili? Uh, we had meal prep chili last night, and it made probably like five portions. Oh. So I ate like three of them last night, so there's one left. Well, coincidentally, we're making chili today. Oh. I, are you going to yeah. put ketchup in it again, Robert? Don't think I forgot. <laughs> I didn't put any ketchup in it this time, but I stand by my <laughs> little spritz of ketchup in the chili. That's all I'm I just, saying. I'm just saying because you already got like tomato paste and you could. You yeah. Know. Wow. Oh, right. Like, look, I could have tried to block that, but. I don't think I'm good enough, friends. <laughs> that was all I'm saying is incredible. I've I've seen hardcore Southern men defend the uh, the little bit of ketchup in the chili. Is all I'm saying, dude. I don't Not have a leg to stand it. on. I, I just I, don't think you need it. 
I used to I make guess. chili, uh, and along with tomatoes, the other tomato base was V8 juice. Oh, yeah. okay, there you go. Uh, oh, even, so you're okay uh, with the V8 juice, but not the ketchup. I'm okay with a little bit of... I'm, <laughs> dude, if I don't know what's in the chili, whatever. That's good. Oh, nice. Thank you. Yeah, I feel you. Easy. <laughs> yes. Correct. Yeah. I can get down any chili. I don't think I've ever consumed a bad chili in my life. Yeah. Well, except for maybe like, you know, like, ah, dude, I don't know. See, because I used to actually dig those shitty canned Hormel chilies. Yeah. You know? It's it's French. They're actually. not good. God damn it. Lord, man. Yeah. Exactly. Well, Rob. Yeah. What, uh, what kind of tomatoes are primarily used for ketchup? Hothouse. Oh, I, I have no idea, actually. I ain't got no clue. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably like plum or like, you know, the big, big, big boys, right? Boys? Cheap big boys? There's, I almost bought big daddies, but. <laughs> what? I, That's what they're called? There's big daddy <laughs> and, and, and big mama. Or hot, something, something mama. Oh, yeah. Mountain? Yeah. No. Because I was thinking, depending on, because I've got an assortment of tomatoes, I, I, I kind of want to try making my own ketchup. Ooh. Dude. So Chef John has a video on on making your own ketchup. I love Chef John, dude. Who the hell yeah. is Chef John? You should uh, you food don't know wishes. Food wishes. Come on, guy. <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> He's a classic. What? Food wishes. OBS is frozen. You're right. It is frozen. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Shit. All right. Hold on. Sorry, chat. Uh, I like this. As someone from Texas, Rob is a fucking liar. He would get his ass kicked if he did that. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've heard that many times in chats, and that is always a load of fucking bullshit. <laughs> I'm sure it's like, you know... I'm like a, a true Texan, and I tell you, I put X, Y, and Z in Yeah, I don't know why it. Texans are, like, so vulnerable about their yeah. chili. Like, it's a part of the identity. I don't it even is? know if there's a like if Chili's part of the Texan identity or if just yelling about Chili is part no, of the Chili Texan is. identity. No, Chili is. I mean, I learned it from The Simpsons. So, dang, oh, keep putting. Nobody puts beans in my Chili. That's a sin. <laughs> no, like legit. That's an also. That's also a, t a Chili purist thing. Is that not having beans in a meat Chili? Which I like. I, mean, I like beans. This I nutritious do. and delicious fiber-rich yeah, right, yeah. variety <laughs> is a culinary sin. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, well, to me, it's like I'll eat it how I can get it. You put it in front of me, that's fine. But that's what I'm saying. If it's got beans, yeah. I'm having a good time. Dude, if same. it tastes good, it tastes good. You know, that's all, all I'm saying. The more beans, the merrier, as far as I'm beans, concerned. Beans, chickpeas, lentils. Oof. Like I'll extend it. You know, I'll. I'll there's probably people turning in their grave right now, but I don't know. Also, actually, I'm curious because, so, like, if you're going to make, like, an Italian meat sauce, right? Mm. Like, there's one specific type of tomato in a can that you get. Marzano. There's lots of different brands, exactly. San Marzano. So I use San Marzano tomatoes in my chilies as well. Is there, like, a specific chili tomato, canned tomato that you go for? Nah, I mean, I, I guess I don't know what they, my recipes... That I do, it's like it's just like a big old can of diced tomatoes, right? Yeah. I don't yeah. know what the, what they use for that, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. But I mean, there's also like multiple tomato products, like the tomato paste. Some will even say use tomato soup. Mmm, that's really? weird. Then you could put some I, goldfish crackers in it. Sounds interesting. I'd have that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd try it. I like having little bits of chunky tomato in there, though. I think it's nice in a chili. Yeah, do it. Yeah, oh yeah. One hundred percent agree. Agreed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chunky or uh, yeah, everybody's got a, a weird chili ingredient. My mom's chili, <laughs> delicious. You know what she puts in it? Nutmeg. Little, little coffee, little chocolate. Oh yeah, right. I've That's heard that before. Not actually, yeah. As yeah. Cinnamon as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen. Um, uh, 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 mouth. I just want you to know. A little bit of ketchup in the chili. Also not uncommon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. It's just like it's like you know. It's like. Uh, kind of like being a jaywalk, right? Like it's a sin. <laughs> <laughs> People <Yeah>. do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I don't care. Uh. He's, oh. he's gonna save it. I, 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 mean, um, I, I had some big saves earlier, but devs, I beg you, dude. Matchmaking. MMR, please. I mean, it's a free game, <laughs> but <laughs> simultaneously. <laughs> well, you can spend money on it too. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, I don't know. 
But anyway, we're making a chili. There's no ketchup in it today. God damn it. It's fine. You can not. Uh, we add carrot in our chili. So I, you know, yeah. my mom puts carrots in her chili as well. Carrot. Yep. Carrot, onion, uh, celery is not correct. Like, that's um, that's what we made. Well, that's the thing. That's what that's what the ketchup does. Like, if you're using like the canned tomatoes, you know, it's like super tang, and you need some sort of sweetness to like take that tang down. That's mm. sort of what the ketchup's supposed to do. Oh, that's what, oh, when yeah. the so you get the chili to a boil, and then you put mm. it on simmer, and then you just drop three Reese's pieces. <laughs> Sorry, three Reese's peanut butter cups, not Reese's pieces. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. All right. And then you just you stir this. and let them dissolve, and you get a nice nut butter richness as well as a chocolate <laughs> tang. <laughs> yeah. Let's let it yeah. percolate. Yeah. We're going to put it over rice? I don't know. Is oh, that really? also like a thing? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, is that... I feel like that is definitely like a city slicker chili chili thing that s Southerners are gonna hate me for. Is that un is that uncommon in the South to put it over rice? I've never seen it, but it sounds fine to me, dude. My I've, my dad has done. I that. love it over rice. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. All right, all right, all right. Freaking, you spare. know what you could do? You get some freaking garlicky, yeah. cheesy mashed potatoes and oh, chuck it on that. Thought about that. Because it's kind of like also you know like the baked potato with chili, right? It's mm -hmm. not. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's nice to have a bed of carbs. That does. Sound, Dude, it sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. No. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Literally every time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would eat carbs every single meal if I could. Yeah. Right. I'm eating a lot of protein do. right now, but carbs are the best macronutrient. It's just just bread is just the best. It's so good. I love bread. Yeah. Like, I love how... It, is it all broken for you guys, too? Yeah. It, it's, okay. it gets waiting for more players, and then it never... I, I'll just make okay. another... Let's all close out, and then I'll make another lobby right. with the same information. All righty, then. Um, tell... Be okay. something good. <laughs> tell Rob, coming from, Tex, uh, from a Texan, there's a common thing called Mexican stack. That is rice... Fritos, chili, Ooh. and then normal taco toppings with Ooh. lettuce, tomato, pico. That password. sounds like a party. Same that password. sounds delicious, but also egregious. Same password, by the way. Same password. Okay. Yeah, oh. jalapeno. Is it cornbread? Yeah, that does sound oh, dope, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. That sounds fucking dope as hell. Yeah. <laughs> to answer your question, no, I don't do that, but I might in the future now. Fritos and chili. Yeah. I mean, my typical chili go-to is... Uh, Either sour cream or plain unsweetened mm. Greek yogurt. Oh, it tastes the same. Yeah, yeah. interesting. But it's, pretty good. It's, yeah. it's, it's the added protein, right? So if you're trying to bulk up, you know. And then, you know, just some, oh, sorry. some, oh, no some cheddar cheddar cheese shredded up, of course. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I uh, that's not a bad, you know, we might do that today, actually. Like, yeah. uh, just like broil some cheddar on top, actually. Yeah. I know you're supposed to, I know, like, <laughs> usually they don't, but I would broil it. Dude, that's like, like French onion chili. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen it broiled. Yeah. Yeah. I usually see it, like, where they have, you know, the pre shredded potato starchy ones and they just, like, sprinkle it on top unmelted and just kind of, I guess, let it melt into the chili. Yeah. Is what it the... gets, like, yep. a third melted, which is the ideal right. mouthfeel for bad cheddar mm. cheese. But I feel like you know broiling a crispy cheese layer oh. on top sounds even better. You Dude, know, if you got if you got the money, honey, I got the time. <laughs> <sighs> My bad. Ah, shit. It's all right. I got you, buddy. No, I mean, I oh. thank you. Oh, oh. oh. I should have won that face off though. That was a close one. That was a close one. <coughs> but um. Yeah, I don't it's know, man. Great. Chili is fucking dope. It's great. It's, it's a, super it's easy to a make great too. meal. It's yeah. it, relatively cheap, lasts a long time, is better yeah. when it's reheated. Yeah. Most people like it unless they're babies who don't like to eat any vegetables at all. Yeah. That's not meant as a Simvicta knock. That was meant to make fun <laughs> of chat specifically. <laughs> but Beans bringing up that chili? it wasn't a Simvicta knock makes it a Simvicta knock. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to get in front of the the subreddit threads, okay? Oh my. 
Hey, uh, don't I, slander I, I my friend Austin, by the way. I believe Austin eats vegetables. Or Austin eats vegetables. He will sure. eat vegetables. He might not he order them with every vegetables. meal. Whatever is on a Chick-fil-A sandwich. <laughs> hey, dude, pickle cucumber. Mm, yes, that's sir. A, that's a vegetable. We just call those pickles here. Yeah, but yep. then it doesn't sound like a vegetable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, that's a fair point. Yeah. <laughs> and that is my thing. It's like, I don't mind calling them pickles, but I was like, you know, why do cucumbers, why, why do they just get to be called pickles? Mm, you know, yeah. I won't lie. I am a little jealous that people get to use the word gherkin in common parlance and we don't oh like but, in england yeah pretty much yeah because they don't you know because they they a uh, pickle is just anything pickled really yeah yeah whereas here it's it has specifically the cucumber pickled <sighs> oh i tried yeah I'd, I'd love to use gherkin often gherkin but like gherkin is no it's normally a sweet pickle isn't it yeah, that's it really. What that was thought, that was yeah. my interpretation. Yes, and I. Because sometimes gherkin, we yeah. have like McDonald's Those gherkins. Oh, so it is a specific. So like a so like a bread and butter pickle. I don't know what that is. Yeah, they're they're, they're <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Ryan's right. They're definitely like sweeter. Here, they're and like a gherkin really. is like a small sweet. They're pickle. like a. Yeah, they're like the uh, like a pinky size. Yeah. Kinda. So the rabbit hole goes even deeper. I would also assume that like we might be on the level because you know they're like our parents in a colonial sense. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Like mouth. How do you feel about the new royal baby? Oh. Um, you know I'm. <laughs> oh. He's got maybe the most robber baron name that he could possibly have. <laughs> I took the the day off to watch the birth. Dude, me too. My boss was real pissed because I just took the previous day off to watch the royal wedding Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't want to miss anything. <laughs> Make sure I was caught up on the lore. Well, I mean, you guys are just doing your civic duty. That's your future uh, future queen, right? Mm, uh, first off, it's a boy. <laughs> Secondly, wow, Ryan, what are you saying? It's like nineteenth in line for succession, you philistine. What do you think this is, primogenitor gavel kind? Yeah, but then you know, what if you know? He's right. He's absolutely right. Oh. Seventh? Whatever, dude. I don't know. Do they quiz you on that in England? They're like, what's the line of succession? <laughs> they, they, dude, that would be great in World War II. You'd be like, oh. I'm, I'm English. Oh, really? Who's oh, 11th in line of succession? <laughs> Sarah Ferguson, right. the Duchess of Essex? Ryan, here's, here's, a, wacky, here's a wacky story. Like, okay. uh, writing prompts, all right? Just, like, somehow, plate tectonics or whatever, like, all of UK, I'm sorry, UK bros, uh, you fall, it falls into the ocean. Okay. Everybody dies. And then. So far, so the, good. Su the succession, they're like, well, I guess we'll like go to Canada. Yep. Okay. You know, screw the other commonwealths. And then right. like, Ryan, you're the new mm. king of England. It, probably like the greatest job on the planet, right? Like. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, definitely. Right. Right. It's up there. Gotta be. Along with being like a game show host, because you're just like a figurehead. That's got to be dope. I mean, I, I yeah. know that I know that the queen does a bunch of shit too, but she doesn't really have to. Yeah, yeah she's like poses for pictures to be on stamps and coins. Yeah. <laughs> oh lord. Oh, there we tied up. <laughs> Stream high. Uh oh. We have gherkins in America. I don't know what Rob is on. Wait, what do you mean? We, yeah, but we don't refer to things as gherkins, though. Except for things you jerk in. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Like it's, not, it's just not a commonly used phrase. Or at least maybe it's not a commonly I used think phrase it's, on the East Coast. I don't know. Could I think be. it's just maybe not a commonly consumed thing. Maybe. Maybe. We have, you know, I just eat them. I don't know specifically what they're called. You know, they're all pickles of meat, but at, at Thanksgiving, we always have an assortment of pickles, and I'm pretty sure there's always gherkins there, because I eat the sweet ones, and I'm like, don't like mm. them as much, but they're there. See, when I think of a sweet pickle, there is one pickle that comes to mind, and that so is bread the and bread butter. and butter. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, that's... no, these are different, the ones that I eat from bread and butter. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, that's the one that I know of, pretty much. 
Oh yeah, the corn cornishons or cornahones or corn. <laughs> Got some cornishons in the, in yeah, the kitchen right maybe, now. They're great. Maybe that's wow. I mean, that's his name is Wow, but. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Are cornishons gherkins? Dude, I don't know. That, I don't know. You know what I love is this dude who keeps like hitting us as if yeah. that doesn't raise the odds we're gonna save it. <laughs> like all you're doing is taking yourself out of the game. The odds of me actively making a save are zero. So yeah, but he's in chat. He's just trying to get your. Oh, it's it's he's one right, of the. Yeah. It's a troll. It's a streamer high, yeah. Well, oh, Rob, Rob just trolled me. So I mean, I yeah, I did kind of do. I was reading chat while holding D, so <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of my bad there. It's all good. Get that save. Good oh. stuff. Good stuff. I just, I was thinking about this the other day. I kind of want to like invent a new product or a food category. Okay. Ooh, okay. What are you, you thinking? Know, you, oh, well, I don't know. Like you got your, your sandwiches, you got your pizzas. You Absolutely. Got your, yeah. You know, he's pretty, he's extremely correct. Yeah. So I do have those things and I don't want it to be like a fringe thing. I want it to be its own thing. So it's like, so you know, oh, what are you going to have? I'm going to have a sandwich, you know, like, like so yeah. And the living's easy. It's like, no. Oh, dude, I think today I'll have a Malfi. Yeah. <laughs> it's already a gin, dude. Or, oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, okay, yeah, that's okay. Good. So then let's establish then when you say I'm going to have a X and it's a food thing, yeah. what are the qualities that make that an easy statement? Oh. Like, is it like easy to produce? Sandwiches, yes. Something. You know, Something. a lot of versatility. Sandwiches, yes. I think pizza and pizza and sandwiches fall under that category. Yeah. Hold on, guys. We're losing so bad. I'm just gonna open up my own mail. Get doxxed. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, uh -oh. uh, Canadian government. I'll send that right over. Is it Nudie Magazine Day? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Justin Trudeau sent me a nudie mag. <laughs> now, did you get your notice of assessment for this year yet? Uh, I did like I went on to the to the website. Uh, I do the paperless because I'm not a, a savage. Like I like to, dude. It's petty, but also I get I, you know for official stuff like that. It is. Nice I like to have to, a hard copy. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got I got the assessment. But you are four million years old, so that makes sense, dude. It's just like it sounds bad, but it's not just that I want to inconvenience the government when I give them tax. I actually mm. just like, uh, I like mailing letters, as weird as it sounds. Huh. Oh, well, can't fault you for that. There you go. I'll mail over. I can try, but I won't. What's an assessment? Uh, it's not it's good news. Uh oh. I mean, assessment it's... Assessment is basically, though, for those that don't know, it's after <laughs> you do your taxes, or you file your taxes. Ooh! They send you an assessment, like, yep. It's the teacher grading your taxes. Yeah. And let's just, this year, I think I think I got like a B minus, Kate. Oof. It means I owe the government a little bit of money. So. Oh, they don't do that right there. Oh. oh. Um. Yep. Yeah, that just happened to you guys too. <laughs> well, one one point one point five million dollar uh, tax return. Oh jeez, chat. We're really gonna need those top oh rights today. God. Can we can we get a hundred thousand top oh rights? You're gonna get arrested and you're gonna be in jail tomorrow, dude. We got no money like that. <laughs> it's only fifty thousand. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? 50, oh, let's no, go. It's a hundred thousand. <laughs> Wait, do you actually have to pay $100,000 in taxes? Do you only uh, do the once a year thing? I would never tell you what I pay in tax on stream. Yeah, that's a fair point, actually. That's, yeah, I can work out your I'm exact not, amount. <laughs> first off, I mean, it's none of your, none of your business. Self-employed, none of your business. So, okay, but like, how much money do you make? <laughs> <laughs> what uh, I well, do on Social is... Blade, it says he makes $50 million a month. Well, so, no, I'm, I, I make between <laughs> 75 cents and $75,000 a day. There are people that actually think that I know how much you make. <laughs> what I do is as soon as I get paid every month from Twitch, I uh, immediately buy art so that it's harder <laughs> to audit right. me. And then mm -hmm. 
No, I do my, uh, I do my societal obligation. And every every yeah. time I write a check, you know what <sighs> I do? I, I play this conversation in my head where people go like, "Yeah, nice things would be nice, but who's gonna pay for it?" And I say to mm. myself that I'm gonna pay for it. You son of a bitch! Oh, sorry, yeah. the screen machine's broken. Uh, hey, uh, Malf, Malf, go online. <laughs> Ah, I'm oh, sorry. Oh no. <laughs> I think I got a I think I got a close uh slap shot. Classic. You mean go online though. He you made it online the line, I think. Yeah. Oh, I'm not, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. Now you made me tab out. This is bad, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, he's okay. not in the game anymore. Now we have uh wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, dude, wow's really good, but Wow, uh, get out of the view, you man. Man, I was online. Jeez, Louise. Okay, join uh my new game. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, but right. first, let me score on our own net. Okay. And wow just put, it up. put 99 on the end. Okay, I actually have to restart slap shot, slap shot. Oh. Leave group. Okay. I'm good, thank you. I don't mind paying tax. That's like... Yeah, me either. That part is easy. Because I've done it long enough that I know when you get paid, it's not your money. It's the government's money they're letting you hold. But... Filing tax sucks. Yeah, it's the worst. Is actually like because we're uh, incorporated as well. We have is it like, a different password? It, there's a 99 at the end. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, because like uh, you know we're self-employed for one. We have we're incorporated and we also pay personal income because we pay ourselves a salary from the corporation. It's right. literally like three taxes, three tax seasons per year. Yeah. And it's over. Like June is when it's finally over. So it's I get to spend uh, half of the year doing my taxes or, well, really having somebody else do them and then emailing me, which is yeah. very nice, to be honest. But And then another half of the year, I'm like, you know, summertime and the living's easy. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to pay the mouth tax. Dude, I pay the mouth tax. Uh, every Tuesday and oftentimes uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays as well. Is that like uh, the iron price? Just like putting up with my existence. Yeah, <laughs> which is actually that that's the easiest tax of all to pay. It's not that hard to put up with your you, – you're a pretty low bullshit factor for sure. Mostly, you know. Dude, I'm, I'm definitely a higher bullshit factor than you. There's no question about it. Well, I don't know. Eh. What's my Sometimes, bullshit factor? It's pretty low. All right. I respect Ketchup that. and chili bullshit, and that's it. Yeah, Josh is like, his bullshit factor is outrageous. Yeah, but like, <laughs> he's, he's doing that on purpose, right? He's kind of like the CRA, just like continually <laughs> assessing you. Yeah, gi giving me nothing and costing me a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's all right. They give you the hospital, so. Anyway. <laughs> and the road! That's a good idea. I never thought about using face cam so I could write off any clothes that I buy. <laughs> or you probably could do oh, that. Actually. At least any shirts that I bought. If you wear it on stream, right? Like you could say. Yeah, that's you you could. Oh, I dude, whenever I that. talk to my my uh, my dude. Oh, nice. Let's go. I don't know what to call him. CPA. Yeah, sure. Uh, like call I, him I mean, your money guy. Yeah, my, my money dude. <laughs> Whenever I talk to him, he's like, yeah, I mean, really, you're just in this, like, complete gray area, so I don't know. We'll just keep doing it and see what happens. You know? yeah, that's always a fun thing to hear. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, I would do this. Uh... It's like, we, we don't do anything sketchy, but because yeah. of the way that the tax system is set up, it feels sketchy sometimes. Like, we'll yeah. give them a receipt for, like, like at TwitchCon, you know, we paid for the uh, Brazilian steakhouse dinner that all of us had. And yeah. it was expensive. And our accountant was like, did you talk about work? And I was like, yeah, like, at least a little bit. <laughs> and he was like, then you're good. You can write off this dinner. Yeah, I, pretty much. Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you could just, like, I was like, can, can Kate and I write off every restaurant meal we ever have then? You mean? You mean that three thousand dollar meal that we had at TwitchCon <laughs> and, and bought everyone's dinner? It was not three thousand dollars. <laughs> it was four. But we Dude, do I, need some top rights, please, immediately. Hey. I talk to him every year. 
I talk to him every year about being able to write off the Jess trips, actually. Mm, yeah. Because, like, she's a streamer. She works with me. She she's on like, stream. She's working with me right now, technically. Yeah, but does she work for you? Well, no, but I mean, I don't think that matters as far as the. I think it. I'm networking right now. Dude, just just do the completely legal thing where you like uh, pay her half of your salary so that you both move down a tax bracket. Oh, now you're talking. I mean, honestly, like our president admitted to tax fraud Look, on Twitter, so like I I've think told we're you good. many don't times, say I don't give a shit about America. <laughs> no, that's fair. Yeah, um, I don't really. Just Jeff Bezos. Just Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeff. And by the way, I just gotta say. On a larger podium, thank you, Jeffrey, for the added ten percent. I don't know what, what do you mean that was it? about. Uh, people, if you like bleed purple when giving bits, it's oh. just like Amazon automatically is like ten percent of whatever the bit donation was. Oh my god! I didn't know they were doing that. And... It's indoctrination bits. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. Plus, like an extra bonus if you download the app that uh, sells you anti-union propaganda. <laughs> Um, the, isn't that the, uh, the new PUBG clone? Banner was telling me. <laughs> Anti-union propaganda. They banned, like, AU, <laughs> AU, PG. <laughs> no, but they banned PUBG or PUBG Mobile in, in China. Oh, really? Yeah, and then they're like, but you can play this other game, which is pretty much the same thing, but apparently... Wait, so did they propaganda. outright ban it? Because... Jess showed me the other day a gif of what they had to do to censor PUBG in China, and it was that <laughs> when you shoot a guy, they don't die, they get on their knees and wave at you with a smile oh. on and then oh. they drop the box. <laughs> that would oh, get down on your knees. It's um. fucking hilarious, and I want them to bring it to the American version. Yeah, that sounds like an improvement. Really, yeah, it, honestly. They should just let you mod PUBG. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would be dope, but they're never going to do that. We want a game, dude. We want a game. It's actually the warm-up, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, taxes are just weird to me, like, because whenever I go to my person, um, they seem so nonchalant, and I, I feel like I'm about to die. I'm like, yeah, just like... Like, whatever you need to do to make this right, and the CRA never, ever talks to me, like, for that something Pretty special. much carbon copy of, of my interaction. Yeah. Yeah, uh, honestly, I, same. I've yeah. got, like, everything super organized. Like, i got all my spreadsheets and folders with receipts and all that stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> and they're like, they're like, they're like, how much uh, are you, like, expensing or, like, for hardware and stuff? And I'm like, oh, I've got all these receipts. Like, no, no, just tell, me, just tell me the number. And I'm like, don't you want to see the receipts, please? <laughs> <laughs> you are the exact opposite of me. Last year, I came in with uh, screenshots of my bank statements from my computer. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. Well, <laughs> we, were, we were talking to our accountant last year, and, you know, Kate's very organized. She dropped off a bunch of, like, Hard printed bank statements, receipts, etc., 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 and um, the accountant was like, "Whoa, thank you so much." And we're like, "Why?" Mm -hmm. And then she said, "The average person just comes in with like a big Ziploc freezer bag full of loose oh. receipts, <laughs> and then just like drops it off." And it's like, you know, have fun. <laughs> it's like detective work at that point. Yeah, I mean, it's not like, like you know lining like, up the board with string and pins. You know, they they charge like you know, triple digits per billable hour. So, you know, I guess time is money. Yeah, yeah fair point, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I just... I don't know, my dude like, gives me shit for it every year, so it's fine. It's... Yeah, but... Oh, oh shit, the stream is frozen again! No, Do, uh, is it Ryan. Is it the... What's what's happening? Is it the game yeah, capture is freezing? Yeah, game capture is stuck at lobby. Okay, so uh, I, I had to fix that by just going to window capture. I, I had the same problem. Oh, I, I will never do that. So what I will do right. is uh, <laughs> instead capture no window, oh. turn it on, turn it off, click Text on the screen. Not looking so uh, so stupid now. Is it? <laughs> well, on occasion. Plus, I can expense it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice. So you Just got black it off, screen forehead. for a second, and then 
I gotta shoot. Sorry, and then I'm gonna. Yeah, I go offline. I go. Okay, oh, thank, I'll, thank, I'll, thank I'll go online. Sorry, I, my competitive instincts won't let me not. I feel you, Rob. Just ram them. Oh, I'm getting in there. Oh, just give it a sec. Yeah, I'll push you into him. See, look at that. I set Ryan up and he blocked a shot. <laughs> Give me, good, just me, give me a moment. Let me move you over here a little. Bit. Slappers. Alright, oh, that's no. my bad. Well, no, I really fucked that one up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, we got this. I, uh, we... Maybe like an alt tab tab? Alt tab tab? Nah, boys, I think I gotta. Gotta. Got to give you. Why, why don't you want to do one. window capture? Because I have sensitive information on my computer. Yeah, but window capture shouldn't. It'll it only capture the window of the game. Oh, I was thinking of display capture. No, 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 not display capture. Yeah, just window capture. Okay, I'm online, but not. I don't have my stick out. So. That's fine. Don't worry. They're behind there. On. Yeah. They're just look at these cowards. Window cowards. capture. Slaps. <clears throat> Go to slap shot. Fuck. Click on it so, so it's an active window. I don't know. We still got a still got a black screen. It usually takes a. Did you? Did you? Yeah, yeah. You actually already said the step that I was gonna suggest. Um, You're not missing much, chat. It's just slap shot. <laughs> oh my god, a naked chick! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, a naked chick. <laughs> Look at him titties! Here, chat, it's only another 100 seconds, okay? Get away from me. <laughs> Fix it, I want to see the bobs. <laughs> <laughs> no! Well, I was AFK, so we're, 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 they uh, scored, but we're winning 9-1. Show feet? Fliss? Still a thing. Oh, I, I think that's always going to be a thing. Probably. Don't kink shame me, Rob. Oh, whoa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just what do you do with them, you know? Well, every arch is a goal, as they say. <laughs> that's not what they say. <laughs> I just think that's what they say. <laughs> oh, back, my baby. God. I do think, though, like, you know, there have to be. Well-adjusted foot fetishes that are uh -huh. extremely annoyed by the weirdos asking for pictures of people's feet unsolicited. Almost certainly, right? They're just like, can you please just be normal? You're giving the rest of us a bad name. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, that's like, that's like sexual harassment, too. It's like, oh... Show me your boobs, right? It, like, you yeah, well, I mean, that. yeah, that, that's, I mean, that's definitely true. Yeah, it is sexual harassment. But yeah, if you yeah. Just, if you say like, show me your feet, like, not so I can jerk that. off to them or something. <laughs> Baka. No, I'm the doctor. You said you had foot pain, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, nobody. Yeah. I mean, I shouldn't even say nobody wants a picture of my feet, but like, you wouldn't want it <laughs> after you saw it. I promise, my feet. My pinky toe is like is like one eighth the size of all my other toes. They're hairy. Dude, actually that's a great question. I know the answer to it is yes, but are there female foot fetishists? Well, there gotta be, right? It's gotta, gotta be. be. I know the answer is yes, but I mean like how many? You know? Because like my gotta, my foot looks like a, like Frankenstein's foot, you know? Like it's there's not nothing, a, it's not a good foot. There's nothing there's nothing positive about that foot. You don't want to see it. Or did we leave group? <laughs> yeah, I gotta make the group. I put a one hundred on the end this time. All right, but it's not up yet. Up. Alt F four anyway. Um, sexy men feet exist, Rob. What makes a sexy man foot though? Okay, okay it's up now. It's like it's kind of like you know if it's like strong. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, because that's the thing. Like maybe Ryan's hairy feet. Maybe that's the one. You know. Yeah, you no. gotta think for Frodo. You gotta think for. Kate'll tell you my my feet take a beating and not in that way. 
<laughs> like because I walk on the balls of my feet, like the balls of my feet are permanently like one hard callus. Like oh in, yeah. You know in uh Mr. Deeds how John Tortoro's foot is dead and mm-hmm. Adam Sandler just smashes the shit out of it with the fire yep. poker. <laughs> It's so good. There's pretty. I'm not quite at that <laughs> level, but I'm like, I'm pretty close. Uh, sculpted, strong, not too hairy. Sculpted. How do you? Sc- <laughs> that's the that's the one that I wanted to bring up. Is how do you sculpt a foot? You well, know, maybe like your ballet dancer kind of thing. Oh, but, oh no, but their feet are fucking. Yeah, fucking they got to be destroyed. Yeah, they're they're fucked. Those. What those about things. a tap dancer? Um, I think kind of the I'm, same thing, right? Yeah, may- well, actually, I don't think so. No, they don't like, stand on their toes. Yeah, because that's the ba- the reason the ballet foot is fucked up is because that's like a super tightly wrapped shoe that. I- All right, I had my hand off the keyboard. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like super tightly bound, and they stand on their toes. Well, Them sculpted chin, because people in chat are like, "How can you sculpt the bones?" Well, like, okay, you know, fair. you lose fat on your face, your chin gets. It shows off a little bit more. I feel like, you know, you can have fat feet, but, like, I've never gotten fat enough that I'm like, man, my feet are looking real chubby. <laughs> That'd be, like, a next-level, like, uh, elementary school burn. It's like, not calling a kid fat. He's like, you got fat feet. <laughs> Dude, actually, like, I, like, you know, I'm, I'm fat, right? I, I don't know. Do I have fat feet? Why Am I allowed to show them on how, camera? How do, your, <laughs> how do your feet look? Do you have look like feet? No. No, I got ankles. <laughs> I got regular ankles. <laughs> I can't believe... Oh. Oh. I can't believe cankles has made it into the vernacular <laughs> thanks to Shallow Hal. <laughs> of all movies. Is it actually from Shallow Hal? It is. I, I don't... I, I don't I, I was in Shallow, Shallow Hal, they explain it. It's coffee can ankles. <laughs> Well, maybe they explained it. It doesn't mean they came up with it. I think they came up with it, dude. Maybe. Because I've been saying cankles for years, and I was like, why am I saying that? Like, I know it, it implied, like, thick ankles, but... I don't know, man. Shallow Hell I... came out in, like, 2001. It's not wrong. Oh. Well, this Paltrow's lost a lot of weight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, she's a, a method actress. She's like uh, Christian Bale. Mm. She gained uh, 250 pounds for Shallow House so she could be the object of Jack Black's uh, lust. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she eats a diet of just pure uh, bull feces, actually, <laughs> uh, to keep that, that figure. Oh! oh, hey, oh. <laughs> hey, it scared him into it. That's I'll take it. Hmm. I think I remember somebody calling Hillary Cankles back in 1995. What? In 1990? Well, that's Hillary Clinton doesn't even have Cankles. Yeah, Dude, she's... we gotta. This is we're we're now in What's under that pant leg? Look it up. We gotta know what's the origin of the Cankle the etymology. Cankle <laughs> etymology. <laughs> I need to know now. A cankle is, and you know, it's not a nice term. Let me just start by saying that. But for the purposes of etymology, is when you don't have definition between your calves and your ankles. Yeah. It's, it's just like one straight cylinder all the way yeah. up. Yeah, no, I've got, I've got regular ankles. All right. I don't yeah, know if, if you that can means... see the bump. Basically, yeah. if you see the ankle bump, you're good. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, like, old people generally have cankles. I don't mm-hmm. know when it happens. When they stop caring about their bodies, unlike uh, well, I guess, yeah, Sam Jackson. He's got a pretty good body. He's no, I said unlike. Yeah. Oh, he's got a pretty yeah. good soul too. Hey. <laughs> Actually, like I saw a, a screenshot of what, what Die Hard is he in? Die Hard Three. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I saw a shot of Die Hard Three today. I actually mm. think he looks better now than he did in the 1990s. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy, because he's yeah. 72 years old. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, he, like, it, it's insane. He does not... He looks like he's, like, 40 at the most. It's insane. Yeah. I mean, a, dude, he looked face. really good in Captain Marvel. 
I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what he did, but whatever he did for that movie, he should keep it up, dude. He was on that, uh, you know, water cayenne maple oh, yeah. syrup cleanse. I'm not gonna lie though, young Michael Douglas in that movie, the face looked great. The Why is he wearing a beaver on his head? The jaw is weird. You know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, young Michael Douglas isn't in Captain Marvel, Robert. You appear to be thinking of yeah, Ant Man two. Ant Man two. Uh, him and Michelle Pfeiffer. No, 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 no. Wait, yeah, young, Ma or maybe I'm. Maybe no, I'm you're thinking, thinking of, of a different movie. I think now. you're I think thinking, thinking of Ant Man Two, the most oil. recent spoilable yes. uh, Ant Man. Movie. Right, correct. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely correct about that. You are one hundred percent right. He That's... plays Doctor Hank Pym, <laughs> the inventor of the Pym particle, and mother to oh. Hulk Pym. Yeah. You haven't ever been more correct in your life. Oh, no. Okay. Mother? Whatever. Yeah, Father. <laughs> <laughs> Notorious, you know, rule breaker, Hank Pym. He does He's what he pleases. He's big into that. Dude, I'm still saying Hank Pym's a big fucking piece of garbage for not oversizing a bunch of batteries for the world. But it doesn't work like that. <laughs> <laughs> it does in the movie. It does in the movies. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, it's off in the side. Or making like, like flying down to sub-Saharan Africa and just making like a gourd extremely large. Dude, just, just pick. Yeah, yeah, just pick bring up, a glass like, a of water. Spot, a desolate. Spot. <laughs> just go to Arizona and make a giant tomato there, and everyone in the world can go and take a couple slices out of that tomato for yeah. a week. What a dick, dude! <laughs> All he did was use it to get real small and save the world. <laughs> Oh, nice one, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Oh, dude! It left. Wow. I like our wow. odds. Kill. I had two people concede in magic today. Dude! That's Let's amazing. Go. Yeah. That is a wonderful feeling when... Oh! <laughs> and I beat a blue deck. Not a big deal. Let's go, dude. Dude. Yeah. That, how's that Boros Legion deck? I don't know. For me, it's not bad. It's got red, because I like red and green. It's a red-white. Um, mm. I don't know. I just uh, I kind of went aggro apparently, and it worked. Good, good land draw, dude. You're lucky this guy joined the game. I was about to become a rogue agent for blue. No. <laughs> I was gonna give you notice, but I was gonna start playing top down. It's because he's bald. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we got to stick together. What was his name? Is this name Domo? Oh, Dom, no. Dom, no tilt. Dom, no. Oh, Dom, no. What's wrong, buddy? <laughs> Yo, is the first game of the Eastern Conference uh, Finals tonight? Uh, is I Gary Bettman in chat? Think so. <laughs> Gary, who's uh, who did you rig to win so I can put some money on it? Is Gary Busey in chat? Can we talk to him? Gary He'd be a great one to have on the show. Person. Gary Busey. <laughs> <laughs> He's been leaving a lot of suspect comments lately. That's great it. goal, great goal. Oh, he left. Wait, it's at oh, 8 p.m. EST. Oh, oh go Bruins are not Carolina. gonna win. Like, yep. this is the thing. I don't ban people, but rack attack. That might do it. <laughs> I didn't get it across in your chat, but what I meant to say. Okay, I'm playing for blue now. All right, that's fine. Shit. <laughs> what I meant to say is, okay, now I'm playing for red again. Um, <laughs> if you root for Boston, and and this goes You're for any sport, yeah. if you root for Boston and the closest city with a team to you is not Boston, go to hell. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care if your favorite color is you know yellow or black or the American flag, but like. <laughs> It's the uh. Patriots. <laughs> if you live in, like, you know, Massachusetts, and you're like, I root for the Bruins, that's cool. If you live in California, and you're like, I root for the Bruins, not cool. Yeah, because yeah. you I, got three teams in there. Boston can eat my ass in pretty much every sport, to be honest with you, so. Austin, you know, he's not even a Stars fan, so. <laughs> Which is weird. That does bother me. They, yeah. He doesn't want to watch the sport until his city gets a team. And I'm like, your city already <laughs> has a team. 
<laughs> oh, oh wow. all right. There's nothing we could do about that one. I feel it's like. called Dallas. Yeah. Oh, wait, he's uh he's the Steelers fan, right? Yeah, yeah he's a Steelers fan. Because I like to make fun of him. I'm like, oh, the Cowboys favorite team is like, oh, I hate. You. <laughs> I mean, you can make fun of him for being a Steelers fan after last season. To be honest with you. <laughs> what do they go nine and seven? No, they actually. Did they kill like seven and eight and one or something like that? It doesn't matter. Basically, they they exploded because of Le'Veon Bell yeah. and Antonio Brown, and yeah, they just they just like auto cannibalized themselves. Dude, I'll tell you, if Vancouver didn't have a hockey team, I would root for Seattle's hockey team, hundred oh, percent. Traitor. That was a great goal. Now, if you get to root for Toronto because you live in Toronto. But if you yeah, don't but... live in Toronto, this shit is annoying as hell. Hey, the Canucks won 9-0 tonight, but uh, William Nylander made a tweet. Let's talk about that <laughs> for 45 minutes. What does it mean? It, it's actually terrible because I remember uh, I was watching the, the Jets game where Line A scored five goals. And, like, you know. People, it doesn't happen Some very people often. are losing their mind, but TSN's like, well, the Leafs won uh, three to two uh, tonight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "Line to score five goals." That hasn't happened in a long time. It's pretty awesome too. Five goals on five shots. And like, mm. I hate it. Well, you I probably have it. something similar in New York, right? Like the Giants are I mean. more popular than the Jets, aren't they? Oh yeah, like highly. Yeah. yeah. Even though we've had the same record besides the Super Bowls since the <laughs> Super Bowls. Um, yeah, no, the Giants, the Giants get all the love. Actually, everyone kind of hates the Jets. Really? For the most part. Yeah, at least it feels that way. They say we have the worst fans. It's because Adam Sandler owns the team. Um, do they know that there's a team in Philadelphia? <laughs> you know, everybody gives Philadelphia a pass after they won the Super Bowl because they're like lovable assholes now. <laughs> uh, the Philadelphia Flyers owner died like mm. two years ago. And they had a uh, like a memorial night during the playoffs. It also happened to be the day that they got eliminated, and the <laughs> fans threw all the memorial shit onto the ice. Oh, that gives you an indication that's... of. I'm, well, I'm paraphrasing. Like sports. I'm paraphrasing the story, but something I mean, along that, those lines. That sounds very Philly, to be honest. So. Well, you probably surprised. like the New York Islanders one where John Tavares was like the team captain and played, you know, all of his career up until this recent season there. Mm. And they loved him. And then as soon as he like went to Toronto, um, his like actual hometown, they're oh, like, oh, thank you. They no. all like would wear his jersey, but they'd like X out his name and put like snake or like traitor and all that <laughs> stuff. And they boo him relentlessly and they like throw his jerseys on the, the thing. Like, yeah. Good old Islanders fans. But yeah. then they got swept in the second round, so everybody's laughing at them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you get enough, uh, enough people in one place and you're going to end up having a lot of assholes. Yeah. I, dude, it's the same. Like, I wish I could act like Vancouver sports fans are, like, better. They're just yeah. quieter, but still assholes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, they booed the Seattle franchise when they got announced at the Canucks game. I was like, <laughs> it's, you finally have, I get, like, you know, we're not supposed to like them when they're, like, in the team. But they're like, we just want to extend the congratulations to our sister city, Seattle, on finally getting a team. And I was like. And then the whole crowd was like, boo, fuck Seattle. <laughs> Are they in your division? They will be in our division, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Fair enough. Well, but you're just, getting the rivalry started early. Yeah, but, like, they just got <laughs> announced. Plus, they might take Louis Erickson off our hands, so don't make yeah, any enemies. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I saw a post on the NFL subreddit earlier that said that we're now entering into, uh, or at least tying the longest stretch in NFL history uh, without an expansion or realignment. Dude, it's true in, like, almost every sport, I think, right now. Like, baseball yeah. hasn't had a team since the Nationals took over for the Expos. They're talking about mm -hmm. expanding into, like, uh, uh, like South Carolina or Mexico City or, um, mm -hmm. you know? And then the NHL. Yeah. I mean, I guess Vegas just entered last year and we're getting Seattle, but there was, like, 15 or 16 years where there was no team. 
Portland okay. and Montreal. That's right. My well, and you guys, you, the in NHL, it's like you had like a weird number of teams, right, for yeah. a while. I mean, we have thirty-one 30. right now. No, yeah, 31. 31. Right. Yeah, yeah. So we need the the thirty second just to balance it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the NFL yeah. hasn't had like. Well, I mean, that's what you just said. It's just been relocations, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. Well, and actually, only three. Um, there have been only three, which is the same as the last stretch, apparently. Um, but the uh, yeah, I mean, since two thousand two, there hasn't been an expansion team. But you know. Uh, 32 teams makes for a really nice schedule. 16 yeah. game schedule yeah. with the nice, nice. the four divisions in each conference with four teams in each division. It's just it's nice, you know. Doesn't don't really need more. Although it would be dope to have an expansion. There's a lot of I mean the MLB is the worst for this, but I think it's not as bad because when you travel for a series, you're there for like 3 days. But right, like, yeah, in yeah. the NHL, it used to be fucked up. Like Columbus played in the West. Mm. So they would like, in their division, yeah. they were playing against teams like Colorado. So right. They yeah. play against Colorado like seven times a year. Mm-hmm. Two times over yeah. the West. Yeah, Detroit was yeah. in the West as well. Well, I mean, like the, the AFC East right now, right, which is where the Jets are, we have the New York City or New Jersey Jets, right? And uh, and then you've got the Boston Patriots, right? Yeah. New England. Obviously. So far, so good. And then the Buffalo, New York Bills. Oh, easy. And then, the, oh, my God. <laughs> that was beautiful. And then fucking Miami Dolphins. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but that, that and that's not even close to the worst. There are some. They divisions. are east, at least. Yeah, I mean, yeah. South. They're just like, like, but then the other three are just like right next to each other. Oh. <laughs> oh, Dude, we're too good. Go. <laughs> Left the game. Let's go. Yeah, Detroit used to. I mean, you you know where Detroit is on the map. Their playoff series were usually like you know we're gonna play like San Jose. <laughs> so you're like you know you live in the Eastern Time Zone or maybe part of Michigan Central. I don't know, but and then like. You play at 7 p.m. Pacific time, which is 10 p.m. your time. Like, yeah, that's where the game starts, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that that's awful. Anyway. Yeah. Sports. If people thought sports talk was bad, they must be loving divisional alignment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Chat, you should get into sports. It's fun. Yeah, just do it's that. It's kind of like D&D, but real. <laughs> yeah, you've got char- your character sheet, you know, and all their stats. And, like, there's their a personalities. Draft. Yeah. Yeah, there's a draft. And they're different. Like, you know, think of, like, uh, in hockey, a sniper an archer. Yeah. Dude, kind of. actually, to tell you the truth, the, uh, the all I'll say is the greatest lie that Jocks ever told you was that sports aren't nerdy. They're very, very nerdy. Dude, especially Extremely nerdy. Now that, yeah. like, there's, uh, I mean, in particular Reddit, there's, like, yeah. a nonstop nerdy discourse about every sport happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like to vis- it's Jonah Hill in, uh, uh, you know, the Wolf Billy of Wall Street. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Um, in Superbad. In, in, uh... He's in other stuff. Uh, <laughs> Forty-year-old virgin. What's that movie? Yeah. Moneyball. Moneyball. You know, super. Moneyball. Crazy. Number, number, number. Just get on base, right? <laughs> I do really love that movie, actually. It is fun. I like it. I've seen it many times. It's not on an airplane. Why wouldn't you, right? Mm. You probably it, like. It doesn't money. deserve this spot, but I actually think it's my favorite sports movie, dude. I think it does deserve the spot. You think so? I don't know. Like, I feel like it's got, it's got issues, but I really like it. The only, the big issue is that the Athletics never won. That <laughs> wow. would have made for a much better ending. That's a great point. What are uh, we playing third? Quiplash. Playing Quiplash. See you in three oh, yeah, minutes. brother. I will go pee. Me who? Good luck, Robert. Have good pisses, friends. Oh, oh I guess I have. Hello. Hey, Justin. Hi. How's it going? Hi, Justin, Justin, you a sports fan at all? Sport, uh, I like hockey. Oh, okay, cool. 
Yeah, there you go. My my precious islanders. <laughs> we were just talking about them. <laughs> Apparently shitting on them, too. <laughs> they got so confused, they went and swept a team and then got themselves swept. <laughs> okay, guys. They did it backwards. Hey, Justin. What's up? We were talking about you last night. Really? Where? How? On my stream. Oh. And how we're surprised you don't have an HCJ piss emote. <laughs> That's a fucking good point. <laughs> I'm surprised too now. <laughs> Lion piss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So, how y'all doing? Pretty good. You know, just chilling. We we're talking mm. about sports, making chat go resident sleeper a lot. Nice, mm. nice. So, way to it's go. Enjoyable. I'm like sitting in my apartment wondering why it's like hot. Mm, dude, yeah. Like I, I, mean, <laughs> I know we're the other sides of the of the continent here, but like it's been like that here, where just like, oh, today it's seventy five, tomorrow it's twenty degrees. Oh, it's just warm, like, God. what the fuck is happening? Like, like, you know, in Celsius, it's like twenty seven here today. Whoa! Holy shit! That's like super high, isn't it? No, 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 no. no, no. It's Isn't like, that it's like, like 90 something, something in F? 80, 80. Oh, okay, fair enough. But like for Vancouver, that's like summer. That is still, oh. yeah, that's still very. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> so I gotta like, look out the window today. Uh, it's probably cooler in Vancouver than like out I'll east say. a little bit. Vancouver, but like, right. yeah, it's good. It's like, Dude, it's like, I woke up and I'm like, I'm like sticky, stinky. <laughs> well, that too, but that's besides <laughs> the point. And like. It's like it's it's May 9th. What the hell is going on? It's gonna be May 9th. Dude, five nine. You know what that means. It's tax season. <laughs> it's one month till six nine. <laughs> oh hell <Hey>. yeah, brother. <laughs> the thirty days uh, until six nine. <laughs> I hope I can live until June 9th. 2069. 20, dude, that's I don't yeah. think we've, that's such a bummer, dude. That's only 50 survive years. That. I mean, it's not a it's a long time, but hey, we're living longer. You know, if the world isn't <laughs> I'm not worse. dude, one of us at least. <laughs> I'm, I'm not I mean, saying Rob, who it would be cuz like, you never right know. Yeah. <laughs> it, cuz living long is kind of like a plinko machine. You know? Like you 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 can wow, ah, shit. You can <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> You can put the the puck. No, I thought you were done describing it. Oh, that was pretty accurate. <laughs> you, can <laughs> you can put the puck in statistically like the best spot, but if it catches a couple of bad pegs on the way down, you know you're getting the. Mm -hmm. So what mm -hmm. you're saying is you you can either live longer or get pegged. Um, you could probably do both, but I don't know you if anybody. Do both, yeah. I don't know if anybody. What if ever pegging has. is actually the thing that gives you immortality? There's absolutely well, no way. I mean, I'm well on be. my way. It's boy. probably like. <laughs> Branch, How long has pegging been a thing, you know? Uh, since the Roman probably times? Forever, yeah. Probably. You guys want to play a live version of Did He Get the, the Bounty? Oh. Oh. Because uh -oh. I, did, I did the Magic the Gathering Bounty earlier today. Oh, I don't nice. think I had oh. enough viewers for it, though. So ah. we're going to see if oh, I thanks, met the Barry. threshold. We're going to see if I met the threshold. I know, Mike. My drum roll. Listen, dude. I can't <laughs> stop calling you Mike. Why can't? I never call you Mike. It's Why just don't like. I drop the mic on you because i'm you should, better at yeah. rapping huh oh i got it Bear Teddy. Nice. let's go i'm surprised hell yeah did you, did oh you yeah. Bounty? i did get the bounty yeah dude speaking of bounties did you guys see the thing i accidentally linked in docket instead of general yeah. <laughs> i saw that too and went really yeah <laughs> i was like like i mean i, I get it but like I'm not doing a bounty for 39 dollars so. oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, i'm just, I'm just not doing minutes. that yeah, well, yeah, but like, that's if you also... extrapolate that out, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah but if we're true. talking about exchange rate on goodwill, I'm I'm at a loss. Is all I'm saying. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's two yeah. minutes. <laughs> we like the time we're spending arguing about it is almost literally half yeah. the time. You would have to <laughs> that's true. The yeah. bounty. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I'm not yet in a position in my life where I'm gonna be like. You know, scoffing at any kind of money. 
I mean, like, I, I, I feel you, like, money is money, but I'm just saying, like, I don't know if my chat's gonna like me too much if I keep taking $40 two-minute bounties over and over again. Yeah, you know? like, my, my, my chat seems all right with it. I think yeah. your chat might want you to make a show out of taking $40 two-minute bounties. <laughs> yeah. Corey, your chat is like the prison in death race. <laughs> <laughs> They'll take what they can get. Yeah. Listen, I may have done the Vindictus bounty, and it may have not worked, like, at all. <laughs> Sounds right, yeah. I have two uh, different League bounties on my board right now. One's for a higher amount, though. Like, yeah, that doesn't... Yeah, yeah I don't One's from it, Twitch, and one's from Riot. Dude, hey, I crushed them last bear. year. That's what I'm saying. I'm Here's a bounty. My life. How about I won't give you a four-knuckle sandwich if you put the code in and join the game? Where's the code? Oh, you put it in the thing. I was in the dockets check because Rob told me to look at that thing. There's so many. It's, it's all good. It's going on. I just I thought it'd be a fun segue. Don't punch me. I've I've never <laughs> punched anybody. <laughs> I, I believe you when you say that. I've never punched anybody. I'm. Yeah. Why do you think I'm in the gym so much? You never know when it might happen. <laughs> you think you're gonna f in there? I mean, gym routine <laughs> is just a hundred reps of punching the wall. One hundred rep punch. Mouth did choke me out. Or didn't wipe down the fucking. Yeah, you elbow me, but it wasn't a punch. Well, this you oh. put me in a sleeper hold. Well, I mean, I get. You. No, I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying. <laughs> you didn't punch. He elbowed. It didn't work though. <laughs> Why did you sleeper hold him? I had his back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was cleaning my friend's house for a, a get together later that night, and I did give up my back. <laughs> well, I think there was a conversation well, maybe. Of, like, of like, no, you don't know how to put somebody in a sleeper hold or something like that, and I was like, oh no. Oh man. Uh, that was good times. I like when you type two answers in real quick and go, I, 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 I could have thought about this. <laughs> I had plenty of time left. Uh, That's usually the case. I don't know, it's either that or I have one second left and I type in fart. <laughs> Why did you laugh so much at that, man? You gotta explain yourself. You got such a double standard when it comes to this I'm shit. I'm typing, Why? so I just put the politeness routine on where I laugh at whatever anybody says. <laughs> that was a good one. God, man, I just like... What? You like farting? I just, I just relived last night again. Wait, you got more poop on your hand? Dude, <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ. You know? You have nine seconds. Fuck Jesus Christ? Wow, what a it night. Was, it was Thanks pretty cool. cool. Okay, here we go. Everywhere. Mm. Cat pooped everywhere. Mm. I'll do it. How well, I mean, you know, it's probably because you pissed on him. Feed no, it, maybe. Yeah, that's the joke. But <laughs> you no, pissed he had, on your cat? Okay. He had, <laughs> <laughs> he had runny poops from, I guess, the anesthesia from his surgery, and then he got it all over his e-collar. And then he must have gotten it on his foot, and he kicked it everywhere. And there's like e collar. Do we have smart cats now? Yeah, what the there's hell like is poop e footprints everywhere. Elizabethan collar, the things they can't. The oh, can't. Yeah. cat, know. order me more toilet paper. Yeah, I'm eating. <laughs> yeah. Dude, no, like there was like you know I I found it on his collar, and I was like ah god, and I'm like okay whatever, I'll wash off the collar. And I got out to his litter box, and I was just like it's like a crime scene. You know, it was like on the wall. Oh no! It was in like the litter that's mat. That's just like oh, little boy. honeycombs underneath. Awesome. Like, oh like, no! So they're just like honeycombs <laughs> of shit. <laughs> and then, and then I'm like, what's that little <laughs> smear? Oh no! And there's like shit footprints all over the apartment. I'm like, oh! It's not that big. It's just it's just poop. <sighs> yeah, look it. Like today, I was My playing. Dog would I was playing Descenders, and like my stomach started to hurt real bad. I got a little dizzy. I went to the bathroom, just had some big old diarrhea. Came back, <laughs> totally fine. You got just not food poisoning. Yeah, dude, I don't know diarrhea. what it was. I was playing Descenders, and I was like, I feel like really bad. I went to the bathroom, just took a big old dump, and <laughs> sorted. Did you get, you get that, that poison out. <laughs> yeah. Chad, join join the audience. Did you uh? 
Did you get like that, that like stabbing pain of like your intestines? Oh, it absolutely not, no. Yeah. Oh. It's like gas pains when like you get like that bloating, like searing. Just, like... I made it. <laughs> a movie that could use some nudity. All movies or Wally. -E. <laughs> I want to see that There's robot's that. titties. I mean, technically, Wally's <laughs> naked, right? No, his Wally. circuits are covered. Ah, uh, well, circuits are like their veins, dude. My veins are covered. <laughs> you know what? I, it's actually an ironclad argument. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> There's wow. no people in Wally, -E, Wally Chad. It's all it's just a garbage robot the whole movie. Spoilers. Nope. I think you're thinking of idiocracy. The most no. German sounding <laughs> word you can invent. Vermin Kaden Bagenkagen or Schleiße Peggy. That sounds kind of Italian. <laughs> That's a slice yeah. of piggy. That's just another way of saying sausage. Ah, Schleiße Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> When I typed this, I was like, I hope it's not actually a word. <laughs> Would you like a slice of this slice of bacon? Do <laughs> <laughs> like that one. You want to go back to the apartment for some slice of Peggy? <laughs> no thanks, I'm full from the vermin cotton <laughs> bagot <laughs> That's a good prompt. I like that prompt. Yeah. It's really ignorant. It's yeah, ha ha. <laughs> the Germans speak funny. <laughs> they just passed a law recently that's a really, really big word. It looks weird. <laughs> From the creators of Whack a Mole comes the new game Frick a Mom or <laughs> Whack a Jack. I just wanted you to know this had an at before Jack, but it was. Cut by the special mm. character filter. If that oh. affects your decision making process, whack a jack. It's like at jack. jack. Yeah, whack a uh, at jack. I prefer abort my board games to encourage me to bang single moms. <laughs> I prefer. I just like the word frick. Abort, abort my board games. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Way to be kind of have a slice of Peggy. <laughs> did, you, did you abort that joke? <laughs> the worst way to be murdered with a knife while watching Big Bang Theory or on Twitter. <laughs> that is spelled completely correctly. I'll have you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Big Bang? Dude, I would absolutely watch Big Bang Theory. I that I sounds amazing. I didn't say that. <laughs> You did. I did not say that. You That's absolutely did. That's just uh, a show about Biggie Smalls telling you how he'd kill you. Uh, must have been Discord. Yeah. Discord must have freaked out. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> the dude, I'm gonna, if I ever have a heating gaming moment, I'm just gonna... Heating gaming moment? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Not in, I'm just gonna say that it was... the Dude, my Discord cut out. <laughs> My Discord cut out during my 20 minute long racist tirade. I wanted to keep going. <laughs> it had a conclusion. Really There's so many more yeah. very good points. It's gonna all come around. Y'all didn't hear me say psych? Excuse me, sorry. Trump's gonna say that at the end of his presidency. <laughs> psych. That's what I was trying to do. I'm fired. Is <laughs> 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 if he, if he gets job. impeached? Oh, if he says that, I mean, oh, like, it'll all be worth it, I think, really, at the end of the day. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it'd be worth it. <laughs> I it's think lucky. maybe, dude. Well, that people know. It it's worth be, it. It might save Game of Thrones for me if that happens. Uh, that give me, yeah. hmm. I don't like this prompt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't feel really good about this, but if we're going on this road today, then sure. Oh, that's a terrible prompt. The same thing, dude. That's I think we're gonna do the exact same fucking thing. I refuse. I literally pleaded the fifth on one of these. 
a good <laughs> sign. Right, I plead the fifth. <laughs> a good sign you're never going to be a professional football player. Okay, everyone, you're dummy your thick, or I mean, look at me. <laughs> What's the difference? I thought like dummy thick means you'd be a, a great. Yeah, 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 you could be a lineman, you know. I thought like that's practically what the fucking coach told me in high school. He's like, Justin, you're so dummy thick. Please play football. <laughs> Dude, it's if not your coach something. Was talking to you like that, I'd be really concerned. <laughs> it's not something your high school. I can coach... hear your booty clapping down the hallway, and you <laughs> <laughs> be able to stop those laughs. <laughs> Justin, you're so dummy thick. You'd be such a good goalie for us. <laughs> Dude, did you see that video of uh, the Steelers okay. guy, James Harrison? Uh, in, oh, okay. In the gym? It, dude is squatting like 800 pounds with resistance bands, like tying the bar to the floor. No, they're superhuman. It's like, insane, they're, they're, dude. No, they're like, dude. Seriously, like, I, I'm, I'm not kidding. And like, look up a picture of Aaron Donald shirt. <laughs> He should not exist. It doesn't make sense. He's like 300 pounds and he has an eight pack. What's his name? Aaron? <laughs> Aaron Donald. Donald. Oh, they are, that dude's a... Oh, I Donald. thought shirtless was his last name. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't blame you, really. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty yoked. It's just, it's, I've seen bigger. It's a big dude. <laughs> it looks like his abs are airbrushed on. Though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> did you see they're doing plastic surgery for that now? Oh, dude, yeah. There was a guy on uh, get... like Next Irish Big Brother that had the Ninja Turtle the implants. So yeah, like no, a no, no, big no. beer they... belly and then prosthetic oh, abs. They do this thing now where they like contour the belly fat. Ooh. Oh no. Right. So like, so you'll just have a floppy six pack. <laughs> <It's> just, like, <laughs> like, it's so weird. That's really weird. They do like liposuction in like in between, and then you have to wear like this weird like like tape bandage over the top of it so it Dude, like doesn't spread. Easy out. money. It's... Just slice me open and put an ice cube tray in there. <laughs> <laughs> Enough, right? Just actual cans. <laughs> Don't steroid. You get like a steroid gut, right? Like uh, people get oh, that. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like big belly, but it's still yeah. Hey, next one. The it's like a rich beer guy. The secret to a great stronger. marriage. It's and done. this is the one that I wrote. No comment for. <laughs> oh, <dude. Ooh. laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, See that we're all familiar with the discourse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no wait. Yikes. I'm sorry. What are we doing? <laughs> Manka. So we're here all night. Never <laughs> seemed like such a long countdown to have the <laughs> results read. <laughs> all I'm saying you is cowards. Like, why put your face in it? You know, just you know. You know I'm saying no comments. What do, you <laughs> what do you think the word pandiculation means? Spread ball skin or the ability of a panda to fuck you up. <laughs> nice. Spread ball skin. Mm. Spread. I think ball that's skin. called the bat. Actually, mm. bat wing. Mm -hmm. Sounds like an NFL player. Did you <laughs> Did you see the the video of the the guy at the Borderlands Three influencer event? And he's like, "What an influencer event is really like." Dude, that's force. That's really I love good. my boy Force. We we both came up in a time when there was no such thing as an influencer, and every time we're at a media event where PR asks you to cheer, I just want to blow my brains out. <laughs> <laughs> so I appreciate that we're kindred spirits. Him <laughs> blowing up that guy behind him. He did, and it's it's a little <laughs> Yeah. It's it's not tactful, but I also support it. <laughs> If you want to impress the Olympic diving judges, try a dive that involves a boner or <laughs> Y and X at the same time. I'm on board with the London. <laughs> it's a London. Yeah. 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 Oh, God. I was thinking math. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like... <laughs> was, yeah, you really want all of your dives to be in at least two dimensions. If they don't have combos, they're not worth shit. It's gotta Dude, be if you could pull off a dive that is only X and Y, that's incredibly impressive. That's gotta be worth more points. Absolutely.
Round two is no more. Do the competitors in the Olympics even get points? Like, what's the purpose of going if you're not getting points for it? Dude, they don't even get the button prompts. That's why they're so good. Oh, that's crazy. They have to memorize them. I call my next dive the Tesseract. The last the final round. Stakes are tripled. There's just one prompt, and you're all getting it. It's the last lash, by the way. Let's go. Oh. This is round three for me. One thing, you never, one thing on date, never to do on a first date. Oh, no. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> if you haven't seen this season's hottest fantasy television show, look away. Close your ears. Uh-oh. And if you haven't seen this season of uh, your favorite fantasy television show, probably don't watch it. You, you know, it's better <laughs> just keep the mystery going. Dude, usually I would hate that kind of cynicism, but I'm 100% with you on this <laughs> particular thing situation. Is... I think, though, like, if you have only watched through, like, season six or something, like, now, you're good. You Stop. You're good. Yeah, Stop right there. Leave it at that. <laughs> One thing never to do on a first date. Spread ball skin. Ask her to be the lady of Storm's End. <laughs> Come, feet. Ask to try on their skin or speak. Mouth, I'm sorry I brought up Game of Thrones. I actually wasn't even listening. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna go no. fill a water bottle. I don't here. care I'm talking about this. Game of Thrones, really. It's not for me. It's for chat. Mm. I'm gonna guess which one of these is Rob's. Um, I think it's skin. Yeah. <laughs> That's where I do. <laughs> the plot thickens. Oh! Have... <laughs> Getting just this like impression of a really desperate caveman out on a first date. He can only speak in like one word sentence. Speak. <laughs> speak. <laughs> feet. Come. Oh, come. <laughs> feet. Come. <laughs> I like this bit. <laughs> I was come. He was come. Uh, black never hole, come on black a first hole date. Come. <laughs> Black hole. Oh no, ew. Don't <laughs> <laughs> sing that song anymore. Uh -oh. Discord cut out, I swear. <laughs> no, but for real though, <laughs> you guys think anybody cares about spoilers for Game of Thrones anymore now? I mean, oh. people who haven't. Yeah, seen still, it for yet. sure. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. Uh, yeah. A lot well, of people. don't know how bad it is. There's gotta be, like, I would yeah. say probably thousands of people worldwide. Yeah. Dude, I, I super feel for the folks, and I'm, I'm sorry for contributing to this because I certainly have, but I feel for the folks that haven't seen any of it yet that are basically spoiled anyway. Like, people oh, are trying yeah. not to spoil specific things, but the fact that we're talking about it this way is like basically spoiling it already. But, like, what do you, yeah. why can't you just watch it? Ah. <laughs> I should have watched every Avengers movie up to this point, but now I know basically everything that happens without anybody having said anything specifically. Mm, that's oh, you true. haven't seen it yet? I haven't seen anything since, like, Ant-Man. Well, then See, you can't here's be the spoiled, thing. then, because you're, you're not invested. Yeah, oh, here's the other thing. With Avengers movies, they're still enjoyable, whether they're spoiled or not, that's really. True. Like, there's not, like, big twists or anything, or, like, exciting, you know. Yeah. 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 Game of Thrones used to be that if you spoil it, you t you're stealing an emotional experience. Well, Game of Thrones was spoiled as shit for me. I didn't watch it for, like, yeah. seven years. I knew everything that happened up until, like, season six. And then, you know, I just I watched it anyway, and I was like, it's a good time. Mm -hmm. Mostly. But you were certainly robbed of... Uh, much more emotional impact had you not been aware of what was going to happen beforehand. Uh, those two words have never... I know. <laughs> <Fuck you>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Dentist, please stop calling me in the middle of my working hours. I will be at my appointment on Saturday. I promise. Dude, my dentist called me last week. And they're like, I just call in to confirm your appointment for tomorrow. I was like, what? <laughs> this guy had an appointment for tomorrow? Dude, that's a great uh, sales technique. I was like, technique. what? <clears throat> they're like, yeah, you. Uh, we booked it for you last time. I'm like, but I was there like three months ago. <laughs> I was like, yeah. 
no, I don't. I don't want this appointment. <laughs> no thanks. No. Like I'll I'll pay next time I have to go for a cleaning in six months. I think. Mm. Mm. Just go. Like cold calling dentists. You have seven seconds. Almost certainly not anymore. By the time you finish that, <laughs> uh, oh, you good. have ten seconds. Look, I've been talking a lot today. An inappropriate theme for a set of kids' pajamas: murder or raw bacon. Hmm. I, raw bacon pajamas yep. have to exist, man. Yeah, why People is that? Got way too into bacon for yeah. a bit. Why is that inappropriate? Raw bacon, and I wish you saw. It's raw, dude. <laughs> 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 You know what? He gets my vote. <laughs> I was working in a novelty shirt warehouse at the like height of the bacon craze. Oh, oh no! Dude. And I remember oh, having yeah. to stock all the new bacon stuff that came, and it was like oh, no. wallets, bacon mm. air fresheners, <laughs> <laughs> all sorts of stupid shit. Bacon socks. Uh, me nuts. It made me hate bacon for a bit. Bacon yeah. condoms. <laughs> I mean, but like, it's good. it is smoked. You can eat it, right? Out of the package? It's smoked. I... Have you done It's cooked, this? I think. I mean, no, no, I, I haven't, it's but... It's, I don't think it's cooked. <laughs> well, it's smoked, so it, it's cooked, isn't But it? I think it's cold smoked. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I so, thought you were about to try to defend the bacon condom for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Something no. that will get you thrown out of a Wendy's, pulling on her pigtails and yelling, Dave, or shaping the square patties to circles, jail. <laughs> <laughs> So there's the implication that that gets you put in jail? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I already oh, voted for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was to, yeah. I'm glad to know that's what those mean. Like, <laughs> that's how you in, in, in future sentences. To -do list. Something that is probably on Nicolas Cage's to-do list. Voter Merge with Shia becoming Nico Buff Le Cage or <laughs> take his right. face off. I don't even care. I, I like that first one a lot. <laughs> um, did you also, Justin, when working at this warehouse, did you also uh -huh. have to do a lot of sriracha stuff? No, sriracha wasn't a thing yet. No, it was later. Um... Sriracha was still very unknown. Our biggest items were Legends of the Hidden Temple re ripoff shirts. Ah, uh, right? okay, yep. And uh, Mighty Ducks ripoff jerseys. Oh no! Those oh boy, that's like that's got to be like 2010. Uh. Yeah, it sounds about right. All right. I worked there one year, and then I worked there like three years later for a year. I would I would work for their their Halloween Next rush. Up. Oh no! Um, the worst thousands of worst hidden worst. temple shirts a day. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. I was living in Japan during the whole bacon thing, and that sucked because they don't have bacon. Yeah, what are the mm, the so they're just like the narwhal like, chashus at midnight. Yeah, there's <laughs> well, there's like bacon shit. Like everywhere, like you go into like all the stores and there's like bacon themed, you know, all the same shit Justin's talking about. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm like, but I can't eat bacon. Do like I have to not... go to like McDonald's and like peel off their fake bacon if I want actual like bacon. Yo, speaking of bacon and Asia, I've been watching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of like, uh, yeah, watching a lot of like Korean or like Japanese like street food videos where it's just like all they show you is like the plancha and them cooking it and that's it and uh i gotta say man they love pancakes over there and i wish we loved pancakes as much as they do because they look fucking delicious you just make them yeah go to ihop yeah it's the international house of them yeah but yeah, like, we like pancakes a lot i thought no, but like they've got they they're it's all about savory pancakes over there. They just mm. like they just put like a bunch of shit together and then just like make a batter and fry it and then They're just, very like, unlike our pancakes for the yeah. most part. They're like We like pancakes. dessert for breakfast. That's what we do. Yeah, we have, yeah. we have such an addiction to sugar. Yeah. Yeah, we really like, pancakes me. are literally That's a one dessert one item. One Although I won't lie, some of those Korean street food videos, like the t the garnish on top is like a cup of sugar that they pour over yep, things, yep, just yep. like straight up sugar. One time, I ate. Uh, well, for like nine months, one of the meals I got in Korea was like, I walk home and there's like fried meat on a stick. And I was like, it's pretty good. And then I told one of my students about it, and she was like, that's probably pigeon. 
And I was like, <laughs> <"Hey."> <laughs> nice. I mean, I wasn't. If you liked it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I was like, I eat a lot of pigeon. It's like it's crazy. I get, uh, you know, for a dollar, I get two sticks with meat on them. That's crazy. And she's like, yeah, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Just because we're in Asia doesn't mean chicken's that cheap. That's like... Do you know the word for that? Dumbass? Dumbass, yeah. I don't know. Swearing that? swearing in another language on stream feels somehow more inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> it messed me up when I realized that. Cool. Scheiße. A dim sum is a breakfast food. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> uh, it, it changed my perspective on breakfast. <clears throat> well, it, like... Yeah, there's not like a distinct breakfast food in like Asia, I believe. It's like rice it's and soup. Food. Yeah, you just like or a whole food. fish. <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> I'm in, boys. Did you guys, um, you just, this reminded me of this because you said that you had been talking so much, mm -hmm. which first of all, that's just every day for you at this point, right? Yeah, man. The I'm second of all, bro. yeah, when you guys were younger, did you ever try to go for an entire day without talking? Yeah. I was an no. only child. I just did it by accident. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like... I had a friend um, when I was younger who was notorious, actually, at our elementary school. He would never talk. When we were at home, he would talk to us all the time. But when we were at school, he would not talk at all to anyone. Well, silence. Was this okay, uh, Mormon? No, not at all. <laughs> 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 the weird underwear, that's the Mormon thing. Yeah. yeah I, didn't ever do, I didn't ever get that, though. Why did I vote for this? Come up with a new name for a, a new beer marketed towards babies. Infant Pale Ale or Wah Hoppy. Yeah, he sold it for me. Was It It was supposed to be Hoppy? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it cut off at the exact wrong letter on the, <laughs> on the tile. There. I tried my best. And one, actually. <laughs> Get far. <laughs> Dude, in terms of, like, the order of operations, like, who do I speak to the most? Like, myself is definitely number one. Kate's definitely number two. Even if you eliminate work, do you think? If I eliminate work, I speak to Kate the most, without a doubt. Number okay. two and three are both of my cats. No doubt. <laughs> That's great, though. The name of a I dinosaur. Because I talk to Cubs, like, probably more than you talk to both of your cats combined. <laughs> uh, dude, that's probably the meanest thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> to my face, at least. <laughs> yeah, I talk to Mochi all day. Yeah, okay, dude. I love it. It Fun. really, like, so are, do your cats have, like, a, a, an attachment to one of you more than the other? Or do they favor? Probably, it varies time to time, but yes. Yeah. Mochi loves Babs and kind of doesn't even think I exist if she's around, and I find it very funny. A good catchphrase to yell every time you finish pooping. <laughs> Yeehaw, I fucking dumped, or hey, mouth, dinner time. How did you guys get a spy cam in my bathroom? I like both of these. I don't. This is like the hardest well, choice I I've ever had to make. Big old honestly. mud pies in the toilet. I thought yeah. that was your favorite dessert. Only when it's my brand. Oh, you only eat my your brand. own. Okay. That really saves it. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep that gut fl flan fauna. Chat, you're eating? Yeah, all your own shit, huh? I bet you're all eating poop. <laughs> Welcome to full time, bitch. <laughs> Get dunked on. After the Heimlich maneuver, the second, best way, the second best way to stop someone from choking is to shoot them in the head or throat <laughs> punch. Justin. I mean, Justin, they won't be choking. Yeah. I just, I've already done my two answers. It can't be me. <laughs> Gun! 
<laughs> that, was, that was what came to my yeah, uh, It's Dude, a gun. Someone, someone earlier in the uh, Shabuff Nicola Cage or whatever the hell it was put a parentheses jail at the end of it, which really made me jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, thank you. You're welcome. I like this one, too. It is a good one. I love that one. You've all got emotes that I, I like. The worst thing oh, to receive nice. for I'm trying to, well, I can't think of a single one of Rob's emotes. Wow. These, wow. these gun emotes wow. are really making me want to go out and buy a weapon. I have an alpaca. <laughs> hey, you should go to that place I'll in LA him. where they confiscated a thousand from some guy's house. Wow. 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 The worst wow. thing to receive for trick or treat. Notice of assessment or pennies wrapped in toilet paper to seem ghost. All right, what? let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of these. End time. But uh, that was a thing I got for trick or treating once. Was pennies wrapped in toilet paper with a rubber band at the end of it? Oh, okay. okay. Oh, to seem. And then ghost? she told me it was a ghost. Yeah. Ghost. When you asked them why, they said to seem ghost, and you to said, "Oh, ghost. yeah, okay, sure." To seem ghost. To seem ghost. <laughs> I live in an Italian neighborhood. <laughs> My wife. What sperm yell? As what they sperm swim? yell as they swim? Gotta go fast, or what are the controls again? <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> so I get it, it's another London. Mm. Oh no, someone has a Sonic emote. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, no, that was that was literally day one of that trailer. Dude. I saw that in Twitch chat. <laughs> People have got all sorts of emotes for intellectual property they don't own the distribution oh, rights. That's the real Sonic emote? <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. What the <laughs> fuck is that? That's incredible, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm still waiting for it to come out that like that was all just a big VR stuff. <laughs> yeah, hey, look how shitty our movie is. Don't you want to come see it? <laughs> Talk about it. Yeah, Great PR. It. Yeah. And now we're going to... Dude, PR in 2019 is wild, man. Well, that's yeah, true. Some people cheat on their wives. No, we're not <laughs> going. We're not that kind of. Channel. All right, I'll, I'll use I'll use a less controversial uh, example. Some people just use the internet to admit to crimes instead. Mm, that's the same. <laughs> what kind of crime? Is that is that a oh, is that a low crimes and misdemeanors? Is that a president one? Your last yeah. Prompt is... <laughs> Oh, the seas jail. That's good. You guys can't hear, but the music slaps. You're right, I can't hear. Dude, I wish I was alive when this went to like number one on the charts. The thing what? that's it, playing on the Quiplash soundtrack? Yeah, dude. Can you imagine bumping the gramophone and this Edison cylinder comes on? <laughs> pumping the gramophone. Oh damn it! They had to pump it, dude. Hand out your what the U.S. government really is hiding in Area 51? The president's tax returns. Open parentheses. Jail. A pizza <laughs> restaurant. Your mom. Your mom's panties. Alien with one extra parentheses at the end. Yeah, that's my keyboard. <laughs> or areas 69 and 420. I'm going to give all my votes to that one. <laughs> they're, they're in the other area? Of course. Yeah. It just of keeps course. getting deeper and deeper, dude. I do like a pizza restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> it's so not even a good one. It's just like an average one. Dude, there yeah. probably is like a cafeteria. It's got like an again. Almost certainly. Yeah, do you, where do you work? Area 51? What do you do? Wash the what, lunch what, trays? What the, <laughs> the, the Jewish thing. What's going on in chat? I don't get it. Corey, Jewish. you don't want to go down this road. There's just some things... <laughs> there's a few words you can see in chat just where you just tuned. gotta... You take a deep breath and you let it go by. Okay. Parentheses is, is a you deep state You really thing. do it. I did. <laughs> oh, mouth did it. All right. I'm the captain now. <laughs> also, the name of a good Cedar Rose album. <laughs> Not guilty. Just, just some parentheses, you know? Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Babs is home. I go open the door. Be right back. No. Hell yeah, brother. I love Cedar Rose, but I could not tell you the name of anything that they've ever made. Yeah. Or what album any of Oh, same, dude, for sure. 
That one yeah. is on. Oh, that's like every, all of them. <laughs> that's, that's on. Li- yeah, that's on. Iardis Bjornis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Agatis yeah. Brigineren. <laughs> the, the one with the <laughs> the, the alien on. Yeah. The yeah. With two parentheses. Yeah. The uh, I was listening to them driving down like the west coast. Mm. Like I was doing a road trip, and I remember it's like stuck in my brain that I was driving on the Golden Gate Bridge and almost fell asleep because I was listening to Sigur Rós at like 1 a.m. Why? Because it was just like our, well, everyone in the car was asleep. It was just like the road trip soundtrack. Dude, are we blind or normal? Let's just do normal. normal. I Blind okay. is for cowards. <laughs> is that because you lose blind? No, it's because, who knows who's going to win blind? <laughs> Exactly. Get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more of a. I, I have my driving playlist is just one song on repeat, and I'll give you a one hint. It goes, oi, 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 oi. Uh, that's oi. the exploited. Nope, it's the best. TNT. It's di- oi. And No matter oi. how long the road trip is, TNT's gonna uh, get you there. Jack Black. <laughs> What? Uh, it's the Beatles, I think. <laughs> oh, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, it's the Weird Al Yankovic cover of TNT called uh, NTN. Ah. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> this is scary. I answered a question. Okay. in this game, and I don't remember what I typed in. So, oh. I really oh. hope, uh... <laughs> Last set of boys! <laughs> really hope an autopilot didn't screw me over on that one. <laughs> it's your heating gaming moment. <laughs> your heating gaming heating, moment. Heating gaming moment. <laughs> I mean, it's probably just like... Come. That's not me, <laughs> I try to elevate the discourse. <laughs> Alright, it's probably just shit. Look, come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> 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 little accent at the end. <laughs> Yo! Sorry, Coming side note. Me and just watched uh, Ballad of Buster Scruggs yesterday. Yes, and I good movie. Sure <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was good. House. I had a good time. A sure sign that a drifter has been secretly okay, living in your house. Your Fast and the Furious DVDs everywhere, or they kill you. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. I get it. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> Bravo. But only Fast and the Furious 3. Bravo. <laughs> Dude, that one song from Tokyo Drift slaps. Which one? I can't <laughs> sing it, but it's the one that goes like... Dun, 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 dun. Deja vu. Have yeah. I this place before? No, not that one. Maybe? I don't know. No, that's from Initial D. Every song from Initial D slaps. You know that one. Nope. That's running in the 90s. You're gonna hear- Malv, one day you'll turn on media share and you'll, uh, you'll hear it. Um, I won't, actually. Surgery. I remember what I wrote now. A very unnecessary <laughs> surgery. Ice cube tray abs or circumcision. <laughs> one is too real. <laughs> you didn't hear him say psych? <laughs> Whatever, It bro. is cum! He wrote I'm, cum! I'm sliced. I was right. Uh, I am not. Am I the only unsliced man in this call? <laughs> yep, no. Unsliced. I really want to make sliced the verbiage. <laughs> I'm, I'm sliced. I'm already bought in. I already started using it. I'm ready. Dude, my shit got cut in half. Hell yeah, dude. Bisect it. Good. It was too big. They, when I came out, they were like, that's too much. Did they I take the top half or the bottom half? half. <laughs> dude. You got a hood or like a collar. My doctor, he has mine mounted on his uh, the wall of his office. <laughs> <laughs> I actually asked James if he wears I could... it on his ring finger. <laughs> you know that like big collar that Dracula has? I want to do that with my dick. <laughs> <laughs> what the Easter Bunny does with his free time covers turds in chocolate, sex your bro, or jerks it, and I mean hard, brother. There's two bros in this. What the fuck? <laughs> bro. Yeah. I didn't know Easter Bunny was a chat. <laughs> Like sex trip bros. <laughs> God, the fucking parentheses jail modifier makes almost everything funnier, dude. <laughs> well, 
all rabbits are Chad. The strangest new military, the strangest new military weapon, weapon blank seeking missiles. Gamers seeking missiles or socialists seeking missiles? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they've already tried developing these several times. <laughs> That's what they're doing in Area 51. <laughs> you mean Area 420 and 16? That's it. Area 1337. They're, yeah, they're doing that. Area 1311, I think? Area 420 is just where the pizza restaurant is. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, That's that a makes good sense. One. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, is there a is there a place in America where the zip code is either 42069 or 69420? Oh, it's gotta dude. be. It's gotta be. Yeah. That'd be amazing. I'm just gonna look it up. Hold on. Zip code 496 or sorry, 42069. What the fuck? Four I'm sorry. Shut up. <laughs> All right, zip code 42069 is in rural Kentucky. Perfect. So that's that's yep. another one. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like it's right. Th yeah, that's perfect. And then 69420 is uh, does not exist. Wow. Oh, it's in, well, yet. It's in Missouri, I think. Wow. Dude, this is why Puerto Rico needs to become a state. It gets 69420. Oh. You know I mean, you could have followed along, but my, <laughs> we already have the best postal code up here. H O, H O, H O. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I, I hate typing in my my Next postal up, code. The tooth fairies. Why? Because it goes like letter number letter number. Letter. Well, can you like, give us like your, what it is so we can <laughs> <freaking, yeah. laughs> change your freaking you know phone keyboard back and forth like six times? Is it anything like your last four of your social? Like what are those so we can be more sure? Uh it's <laughs> six nine zero zero. Nice. Sixty nine hundred. Nice. Mm-hmm. No joke, but H O H O H O is the uh Yeah. It's the postal code you use up here when you send a letter to Santa Claus. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, and then it just goes uh, right yeah. in the trash. <laughs> no, <laughs> and what they actually do. I don't know if you had to do this, Mal. But in eighth grade, they delivered all really the close. letters uh, to Santa Claus to our eighth grade class. And we, a couple of kids in class went, fucking wait a minute, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. It took him that long? But why are we wow. writing all the letters that Santa is supposed <laughs> to reply <laughs> to? <laughs> wait a minute. That's right. Case Troop in my chat says 69420 is a postal code in a region of France. Oh, nice. there you go. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Bullshit you did that in second grade. You're done like a first grader <laughs> is gonna write a letter and a second grader is gonna reply. You're gonna open the letter and be like, why is Santa such a dumbass? Can't even spell. We didn't do it in grade eight because by then nobody believed. Well, that's why they should do it in grade eight. <laughs> Oh God! Okay, this I'm so sorry. I, this one I didn't even want it to be topical. Okay, I swear to God, I didn't. Think <laughs> <it through. laughs> I, I, I didn't think it through, man. I apologize ahead of time. Uh oh. <laughs> Bear Taffy comments on the drama relating. Uh oh. To you. <laughs> God, I want like. I wish the Elgato thing wasn't a piece of shit because I would love to have like a soundboard of just like old school wacky Looney Tunes sound effects. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, it's me. Oh, 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 can we get a ha ha Classic. button, please? I have creepy ha ha's, but I don't have Ryan's ha ha. Okay, wow. here we go. Rip. That's first up. <laughs> yeah, there it is. There we go. A fun thing That's to yell as a baby is being born. Yeehaw, I fucking dumped, or hey, mouth, dinner time. <laughs> it is the exact same. What kind of. That's like meta jinx. I don't even understand. <laughs> We, it. Good job. we are machines. Robots could do our job. That's it's 
<laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh, I love the other person here. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> Justin, I love you. How? It's really good. Oh. The cross dimensional jinx. <laughs> Let's go. The worst name for an SUV. Suck your vag or spike bitch. Well, <laughs> I had to come back from I don't the know. high Real of the last answer. Drop off, man. At least that's the, it's like a band aid, you know? It's like, boom, well, 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 that was some good comedy for a second. <laughs> What's funny, I almost typed yeehaw, I pooped, or I shit, or whatever. <laughs> but I couldn't remember the exact phrasing, so I went with the other one. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. <laughs> Don't tell me to shut the fuck up in my own chat. <laughs> <laughs> I can type whatever I want in chat. <laughs> <laughs> that's my domain. <laughs> Well, you guys start banning people. <laughs> so, like, mine was bad, but now what is Spike, bitch? I don't know. I'm playing Blind Quick Flash. Oh. oh. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> the worst person to share a hot tub with. Theodore Bundy, jail, or your dad. <laughs> What's wrong with sharing a hot tub with your dad? Terry, I guess. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I mean, but I'm Harry. What is that? <laughs> I just think hairy people are weird, man. Yeah, I weird. hate them. Bro, I if I had body weirdo. hair, I would just get waxed every six weeks. For sure, <laughs> dude. Yeah, do you, you ever see that, that scene from 40-year-old version? You wanna go through that? <laughs> mm -hmm. I, the pain, out your chest? Physical pain does not bother me. I'm willing to go through it, but I'm just too lazy to make the appointment. I've had my chest partially waxed. Really? What does that mean? Uh, I probably told this years ago, but um, I was at a uh, the like across the street bar from work, and I was wearing this shirt, and my boss was like, "Look at that goofy shirt. You see your your chest hair." Look at that goofy goop shirt. And then uh, the the waitress was like, "Oh, I'll wax you." And then what? I was like, "Yeah, sure." What the fuck? Yeah, well, we were close, and so, <laughs> it's like you bring it, and then I'll do it, and then like a month later, she actually came out of the kitchen with the like the you gotta like rub it and heat it stuff. That seems and, extremely sanitary. Like yes. <laughs> I had never seen so many people from the office uh, for beer, Bomb. so it was a little <laughs> weird. And uh, they had me take my shirt off, and they waxed me. Coming up next. Mm. Sounds like in the same place. Yeah. That was great. So in the same huh? place where people are eating. There was like a back area, like where whenever they had like events well, did... and parties and stuff. <laughs> so. Yeah. Where they did the the waxings, you know. Yeah. In the back. <laughs> you guys want to open a like a tanning salon? Yep. No. All right, I got hmm. one. Yes. Uh, you got two <laughs> yeses. All right. Oh, oh yes, sir. <laughs> Why do you want to? I didn't say I want to. I was just asking questions. <laughs> what kind of weird for census data is that? Just wanted to see where people stood. Hey, Malf, on a scale of 1 to 10, how hairy are you? Uh, I don't know what part of my body. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't care about your... My chest, uh, my chest is good. I got a big old Still Batman on, on my chest. <laughs> yeah. Do you I shave the Batman into it? No, it, it it's it's it used to be more defined, like New Age Batman, ish. What? You know the newer Batman symbol, not the old one. You know, like the little ninja stars he makes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the batter. Kind of like that. Yeah. He spreads okay. his bro's sack on his chest and outlines. Okay. Yeah. That's always fun, right? Why do you want to know, Corey? Oh, I'm just curious. You didn't oh. you didn't strike me as a, as a hairy boy. You can tell how hairy someone is just by looking at how bald they are. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a joke. I mean, you literally know, just yeah. said you can tell how hairy somebody is by looking at the hair on them. Yes. Or the lack thereof. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's over round two. Fire up the scoreboard. You could tell a person's eye color by looking at their eyes. You could tell a lot about a T-bone steak by putting your head up a bull's ass. But, <laughs> but would you rather take the butcher's word for it? <laughs> you can tell how hairy I am by looking at these nuts. Oh, oh, oh got him. These nuts. Post them in the Discord. 
Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, he's first help. I don't want to say Never mind, I'm not making that joke. Alright, no one write Normandy. I like well, mine. I'm writing Normandy. Sorry. Don't write drugs either. It's. it's yeah. It's cop out. <laughs> Definitely do not write drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do. Don't pick a specific drug. Yep. <laughs> that starts with a vowel. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't purposely misspell a word to get extra votes. <laughs> God damn it, mouth. <laughs> okay, soak it in. Give out your votes. The now. Muppets take down take down the bourgeoisie. The Muppets take acid. The Muppets <laughs> The Muppets take Gothasm. <laughs> the Muppets take ecstasy. Ecstasy. <laughs> oh, it's not even smelled that way. <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> the Muppets take your wife, and the Muppets <laughs> take control of the government. <laughs> it's been a long show. <laughs> You've been talking a lot today, man. Yeah. I think I'd rather see the Muppets take acid than the Muppets take ecstasy. <laughs> I don't yeah, know, just turn into human fuck. beings. That's weird. You don't want to see Kermit <laughs> grinding up on Miss Piggy for a couple hours? <laughs> this, this is a good problem. Gonzo's nose. This feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to make sure you skip, bird. Or sip. Excuse me. Is that Kermit? No. Man, that was pretty don't good. grind your teeth, bird. Is this motherfucking Snuffleupagus? Yeah, Who Snuffleupagus. Is... Yeah. He's not a <laughs> Muppet, dude. <laughs> now, what was Gothasm supposed to be? Gotham, like Gotham, Bane. Yeah. Gotham. Ecstasy. Ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how it's spelled. I just said it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's how it's spelled. That's the Muppets spelled. take your ex, Stacy, from you. <laughs> that's fucked up. Eh, she was a bitch. What? <laughs> okay, Chad. I'd watch this movie. But her Chad. mom's got it going on, man. <laughs> <laughs> the Muppet stage a coup. I'd, I'd watch that movie. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> hey. Corey wins. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. Why uh, don't we take some time to pick our channels? Why don't we start what? with Corey? Hi, I'm Corey. Twitch.tv forward slash flag flag. Streaming every night from around 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Streaming Gungeon. Streaming... Lots of Mord How. And, uh, maybe whatever bounties available. You know what they should call it? They should call it Less How. Because you're less playing how? too much of it. Oh. Yeah. It's very fun, though. I am ah. in agreement. I am. We've all been saying Mord How, but what about Mord Why? Oh! Great question. Nice. Great question. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it. Yeah, da, da, yeah, da, da, da. Anyway, uh, how about you, uh, Bear Taffy? Hey. Uh, hi. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Follow me. <laughs> That's it? Yeah, you know, whatever. Okay. Don't have to do it every time. Good, I appreciate it, because you got to give space for the bit to grow. Exactly. <laughs> How about you, Justin? Hi, I'm Justin. Twitch.tv slash HC Justin. Uh, I'm on every day doing stuff. I'll be on tonight playing some Thursday Night Bikes. Charles Fusion. Dude, does it work nice That's a good time. It's fun. Yeah, they got the private lobbies now. Oh, do they? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hear there's also custom maps, which I need to figure out over the next hour before everyone shows up expecting them. Wait, when you say fusion, you mean rising, right? The latest. I do. <laughs> 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 no, clarifying that, okay. And the secondary yeah. question, when you say do they nice, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Comma, nice, but I forgot the whole pause part. <laughs> and uh, that's it. That's me. Cool. Thanks. How about you, Robert? 
Yeah, hi, I'm Rob. Also known as Alpaca Patrol. You can find me on Alpaca Patrol everywhere. Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Also, Discord.gg slash Alpaca Patrol. I do movie night every Saturday. 2 p.m. is Saturday. Time to come by this Saturday, and you're going to watch a movie. Uh, because I've just forced you now. You have no choice. Uh-oh. You're going to watch a movie at twitch.tv slash Alpaca Patrol. Dude, you should watch uh, John Wick 3. Oh, dude, that's what the plan was. Yeah, we're doing John Wick 3 this weekend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a good uh, show up, dude. It's good for viewership. Mm-hmm. Big deal. Big, uh, big, big, big deal. Big deal. <laughs> <laughs> dude, they nice. Anyway, yeah, and uh, <laughs> do more now during the week, so come by for that as well. Ryan, am I crazy? Don't you have an emote that's you with, like, swirly eyes? Oh, I found it. It's Lion yeah. Flood. There we go. I got it. Yeah. There you go. Lion Flood. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Mouth? What? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> 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 Fucking arrested me. <dude. laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, I would, uh, if you could enter internet browsers uh, address uh, box, <laughs> which is uh, yes. HTTP colon slash slash. TV slash my Write card. it down. Write that down, please. Um, and Twitch if you could HTTP. mail it, <laughs> mail it to <laughs> your immediate and extended family. <laughs> On a postcard. Yes, please. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be live tomorrow, 10 a.m. EST, every every weekday. But tomorrow's Kotor day, so help Kotor. me build a lightsaber. And if you do, I'll let you choose. Who on the NLSS I slice with it? What? <laughs> Just the Wait, dick. I've already been, but I've already been sliced. Ah, nice He's call. Got out. a great point. No, Hi, Rob. this is the everybody's voting for me to be killed. I told you I'm already sliced. Dude, okay. he's got a great point because he's been sliced. Yeah, you what? can slice right? bear halfway. Yeah. You can slice the other half of bear. Yeah, I mean, I got a lot more half left, you know. Darn. <laughs> <laughs> pleasure as always everybody thanks for being here yeah, i got a big old dick. Dick. that's what i meant to say right there that's what I'm trying to imply. it's always T minus five four <laughs> so i just try to elevate the discourse above a level of such prosaic and debasing comments but it doesn't always work out i suppose i'm just joking let me go check on the post stream one moment I'm back. I'm back. Post stream, Kate and I are going to be playing some Stirdu Valley. Continuing with our farm at twitch.tv slash lovely Momo. And I'll see you over there. But first, I'm going to kill 20 seconds just to make sure we are ready to go. Two. Three, one, still got eight seconds to clear, and then I'll type the raid message in the chat. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I won't be streaming until Sunday, but thank you for your support. I'll be thinking about you this weekend. I will leave the squad. Thank you, Corey. I'll see you on Sunday. I still don't know what we're going to play, but we'll see. Kate said I should play Killer Chamber on Sunday, which is a good idea. We'll see.